We are live. Ladies and gentlemen, hey. I'm Precipice, the Expanse role playing game put out by Green Room Publishing. I'm John Latino. I'm the Game Master, as it says down here below me. I'm Game Master. Uh, we play the Expanse role playing game weekly. We have a lot of fun with it. We love it. Um, we got a great show every night. This is episode eight of year two. Uh, I'm going to kind of kick off here. We have a special guest. You may notice we, I have to do the whole Brady Bunch thing and point below myself. Oh, yeah. uh, it is the Brady Bunch in space. Uh, they, they keep on trying to spin it off as much as they can. The musical show didn't work out. But uh, we have below us today uh, our good friend, uh, Josh Simons. Uh, Josh, tell us about yourself, man. Where can they find hey. you and all stuff? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my name is Josh. I am the community and content manager at Demiplane. Uh, I am also a freelance TTRPG designer, a variety streamer here on Twitch, um, and uh, do a whole bunch of things online. The best place to follow me would be on Twitter, at Joshua M. Simons, and on my Twitch channel, which is Joshua Simons. Someone stole the M. If you find it, please let me know. <laughs> Very good. And uh, Josh, you're welcome to, during the, during the show tonight, uh, dump those in the chat for everybody to follow you. Uh, please use that privilege. Don't abuse it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we got a, we got a great show tonight. Um, tonight we got a giveaway. Uh, we're gonna be giving away a little tour of the belt patch set. So tour of the belt, like for, you can tell all your friends you went to the belt with these cool patches. We have a nice Ares two patch. We have yes. a nice. I think this is. I can't remember which uh, ship this is. I think it's on Amos's thing. I can't remember which one this is. Uh, and then we have a nice. You can't go wrong. Let them all know you saw Fred Johnson himself. Yeah. So uh, one of our one of our viewers tonight will get this patch set uh, to enter. The giveaway word is, and we'll let Michael get on edge because he, he freaks out about it. Is salvage? The word tonight uh, is salvage. I mean, uh, I mean, we knew that already. <laughs> that's that's the funniest nothing. thing ever. I, I think that's the funniest thing. How you think that's a conspiracy every time? One of these days, it's going, it's to, going be. to be. It's going to be. Yeah. Cool so clue. we just have to be ready for it. Yep. See, <laughs> the investigators. Oh, listen, on my side. Yeah. I I got listen. Uh, li mm. <laughs> uh, in addition tonight, uh, what, as we do, uh, if we hit our, if I hit my sub goal for the month of March, which is, uh, I know it's a big goal, uh, whoever wins the giveaway that night will win this copy of the Expanse board game by WizKids Games. Uh, they're hard to find, guys. Nice. Uh, it's a very good game. Uh, we actually played it this weekend. Uh, but uh, so we'll have that going to it. And last but not least, uh, I'd be remiss if I not shout out our Patreon, where we give people previews of cool stuff that we're doing, guests coming up. Uh, you can get an audio podcast version of this. Uh, you can vote on merch, get the bonus episodes. Everybody has a bonus little backstory episode. It's kind of fun to watch. Um, but that's the best way to support us is on Patreon. But we appreciate any support. Hey. All right, here goes. You guys ready for the opening? We're going to cue the credits. Oh, yeah. I'm Roger right. Presbys. <laughs> Precipice. Ladies and gentlemen, so the Sinclair has taken its job, uh, pushed off out into the, uh, the the area between the belt and the Jovian system. Uh, the Jovian system is currently uh, amidst with chaos and kind of conflict. 
Uh, and the mission has been to link up with the ship Odingo and to transport a single member, a single, uh, a single, a single person, uh, one Dr. Marvin de Valentine. As the Sinclair rolls alongside in the docking maneuvers with uh, the Odingo, the umbilical between the two is extended off of the, Od the Odingo extends an umbilical to Sinclair. And on the other side of the airlock, uh, encased in kind of an area of mylar between the two ships, you can see a single Martian man floating uh, with a what looks to be a pretty big uh, case of some sort, like, like almost like a almost like a uh, like a toolbox, almost you're guessing, along with a large duffel bag on their shoulder. Uh, looks like they're waiting for you to cycle the airlock. Who who's gonna let this person into your ship? Or is this gonna be the shortest guest appearance of all time? <laughs> well, Close there you the go. Door. Detach the cord. Yeah, let it go. See ya. <laughs> this has been Bye. fun. Thanks for having me. <laughs> nice. No, I'll, I'll head that way to make sure we get the right person. And the airlock checks out. The whole thing's ready to cycle. No problem. Like everything's green. I'm gonna um, elbow uh, Waxer. Uh, hey, who do you? What kind of? What kind of person do you think this? Uh, this doctor is. I don't know. I heard it was a, a dust to egghead brains, so uh, it must be real important. <clears throat> yeah, some big brains. <laughs> yeah. what, I, I heard a little bit of what he did. Does, does do, yeah. do has done. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, he must be real important if we got to go get him, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what he's like. We got. I got a bunch of questions for him. <laughs> uh, why but, you cycle the airlock through, uh, Marv? You, the airlock begins to cycle through. Uh, I, I assume you take a step through. Yeah, I'll step through, and as I, I do, I'll kind of just take a quick look, inspect some of the uh, mechanisms. Um, eh. This ship is been patched up numerous times and heavily modified. Uh, based on your assessment from what you saw outside, uh, the ship is armed, does have a PDC network along with two torpedo tubes. Uh, it has a heavily modified drive cone. Um, you might be a little curious to see what's under the hood, but it is a belter, like heavily modified light frigate, uh, not like a freighter. It's it's not some fancy ship. It's not even like it's got to be a few decades old. Yeah, I'll kind of run my finger along uh, the airlock. Yeah, yeah I'd be careful. It might fall apart. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say you're going to want to switch that out and probably make some repairs here. I'd give it three weeks. That's better than I figured. Are you the doc? Yes, sir. Extend an arm, a uh, hand for your handshake. Well, the, the rest of the airlock has to fully cycle now, so now it's fully cycled, and the door opens up, and you guys can now do the same air. Right. Sorry. Perfect. Sorry. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll accept the handshake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Marvin or, or Marv to friends, but Dr. DeValentine. And, and the man greeting uh, Marv is another Martian. Clearly a Martian. I have like a bit of disgust look on my face because you're a Martian at this point. <laughs> Noted. So, um, take you up to see the cap. Figure out Appreciate where we're going from here. Uh, actually, you, if you uh, want, we can get you a room first, probably. Might yeah, if you wouldn't room. mind, I'd just put this stuff down. And you yeah. guys are currently in zero G, like nothing's weight. There's mag boots. Um,. <laughs> Why it takes you up the lift up to the next level uh, through the uh, the galley and the med. It's a, the one floor is a combination galley, med bay, and armory. Um, it's kind of everything on one floor. Uh, you can definitely see the armory is locked up though for sure. Uh, the next floor it takes you to on the lift going up is a um, is the the crew cabins. Um, or have you noticed that one of the cabins has been heavily modified uh, with additional security? You're pretty sure it's a brig. Oh, there's your room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome aboard. <laughs> well, you know, I, if that I was know. the case, I'd understand. But uh, no, you're you're good. We'll take you to a real room for now. We'll see how it works out. They give you they give you a room to share. Um, it looks like uh, there's another there's another person who's occupying the bunk, but wherever they are, they're not here. Uh, but you got plenty of space to put. Oh. Yeah, perfect. I'll just stash my things, probably take off. I've got like a military style coat that I'll take off and leave on, on the bed as well and then uh, follow along. Um, 
Myrtle, you can, uh, the, the Odingo's giving you the all clear to, like, let loose the umbilical into, uh, the ship's still no longer coordinate. Just go off, no problem. Okay. Um, I'll just, like, uh, tell them, you know, hey, thanks, uh, looks like we're all clear, we're gonna go ahead and take off. Is that okay with you guys? Hey, thank you, Sinclair. Uh, safe travels. And, like, you can you hear, like, the umbilical un- unfurl and everything through the ship. You can hear the right. vibration. And it's very silent. Take care. You guys tea cuddle off on each other so you don't burn each other up in your drive cones. So we slowly motor. <laughs> cattle across, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Arm, you can feel the you can feel the ship moving off to the side. You're guessing the docking procedures going off. It's, they're not pulling a lot of Gs. It's kind of a, that weird little... Um, but, uh, as you stand there, uh, with, uh, uh, Wyatt, you can see why it's like, like, why it's wearing kind of like a, like a basic jumpsuit, uh, not really trying to be fancy about it. Um, you do see another crew member, uh, it looks like a belter, walk past him and kind of nod at him, uh, almost like a sign, like, not a salute, but like kind of a nod. You're guessing this guy that you're, who's bringing you up is somehow one of the officers on the on- Sure. Uh, well, I'm uh, ready. I'd love to uh, have a chance to poke around, but maybe we uh, meet the the crew first, if if whatever works for you, of course. But uh, yeah, that's fine. If you want to go down to the galley, I can <clears throat> send for everybody down there, and we can meet and talk and see what's going on. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. You are. Uh, Merle, you just want to put it on autopilot on the yeah. platform. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna set everything on autopilot. Make sure that we're coordinated where we need to go, and uh, get that all ready and head down. Um, Marvin, when you guys come down the galley, you, you, at the uh, the table where there's like like drink dispensary, you can see there's a, uh, a belter woman uh, staying there, kind of wearing a coat, uh, just getting some tea, hanging out. Uh, Danny, you see this new face, Marv, uh, being shown around by Wyatt. This must be the egghead that Waxer was talking about. Uh, oh, does that mean Waxer here too? He could be. Does Waxer want to be we here? Because we, yeah. we, ta- we were talking okay. just like just yeah, before. You're having a little water cooler conversation about the new guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 literally. <laughs> okay. right. So yeah, so the, Wyatt brings down this. So now there's another Martian on board. Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, Zenny's kind of a, a little bit taller. Um, has like a, a, a side shave, a pretty prominent uh, belter tattoo on on their neck. Um, uh, fairly decently built, and yeah, just kind of is is not doesn't wear a jumps isn't wearing a jumpsuit or anything that it looks like they are belong on the ship. But um, they uh, they they smile and nod and give you a little wave as they drink their their beverage. You having tea or coffee today? Always coffee. Mm-hmm. I'm doing a uh, coffee tea, mix some a little extra caffeine for wax today. There you yeah. go. But I just I'm looking. Uh, yeah, he looks at the the doctor, so it's sort of eyeballing him, just looking at him up and down, just checking him out. Yeah. Uh, did you want to call everyone up to the the galley real quick, Myrtle? Yeah. All right, you send out a signal. Everybody gets the signal, and they all kind of uh, pick you up on it. Um, all the people kind of pile in. Marv, you're. Uh, why, do you want to let Marv get, like, a drink or anything? Are you, you good? Or are we going to do her? Yeah, I'll show him, like, where the drinks are and let him get comfortable. A few other people kind of, kind of come on up. You uh, you see the rest of the crew uh, making their way the uh, the ship up, up to the galley. Um, you see another... Uh, looks like the crew in here is eight people total, Marv. Uh, you see there is an Earther, who you're pretty sure is the captain. There's a Martian who's the XO. And then you see six belters. It looks like they're the rest of the crew. Uh, two of which are guessing are probably the engineers based on where they came from the ship. Bottom of the ship. Um, and they all kind of like, uh, one of them's got kind of a, kind of like, a, I don't say disgusted, like he's kind of like, oh, really? Like he's got that look like that. Oh, really? But he doesn't say anything. Sure, sure. Uh, you know, I'm used to that sort of response, I think, so. Uh... It's like Michaels. I He's just got a resting belter face. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. For you, John. Mm-hmm. Um, does the physical appearance of this one doctor person match the uh, the research I did earlier? Oh yeah, yeah, it's him. Okay, cool. Yeah, you you Excellent. saw some of his papers. You couldn't make heads or tails. It was pretty advanced stuff. Uh, his specialty is uh, 
theoretical physics of some sort. Like, um, he is from Mars, but he's, as, long, as far as you can tell, he's been kind of freelance for the last few years. Like, he isn't working for the Martians. He's working for it seems like anyone who pays him. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. So one of the, the one of the belters is standing there, the one's kind of giving the, the look, Marv, and he kind of he comes up and he goes, "Hey, Goyo, what the? Uh, is this this?" And he looks over to, to Wyo. Hey, is this the new guy? It'd be him. Hi, hi. All right, all right. Uh, he looks to Drax and he's like, "I, man, I told you." Kind of takes a takes a step back. Okay, I'll um, I'll kind of I'll come in and you know as we're all kind of filtering in. This is like, hey, everybody. So here is um, Dr. DeValentine, who's going to be hanging out with us for a little while while we do this. And um, and so what you see, you see, I'm definitely an earther, but I'm also kind of like half dressed formally, but a formal hippie pagan. Everything's about the moon (laughs) kind of thing. So I don't I look like I don't belong in space. Right. So uh, that, I'm wearing bunny I've slippers. Met, I've met a few hippies that look like they do belong in space. I'm a saying. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So. I don't look like a space hippie. I, I look like a, a down in the earth trees kind of, but fancy. Got it. So it's kind of like a contrast. So, um, so yeah. So I come with bunny slippers for you. And so I, I'm handing you a pair of bunny slippers. Oh, because everybody you. gets these when they join the crew. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I know we got a little time together here. I don't mean to get in anyone's way or anything. Uh, I may go just, you know, show myself around the uh, uh, engineering level, just kind of get a feel for everything. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I mean to be uh, pretty helpful and pretty out of the way for the most part. Oh yeah, sure. uh, Drax. Drax over there. He can. Uh, he can show you around the. Uh, just, uh, this builder's kind of. He hears his name from Zinni. Goes, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can, I can, I can take the doctor down there. And uh, you see the other builder that kind of like said something earlier, kind of shaking his head. Like, I, I like turn my head to uh, to McMichael's and just do like a. <laughs> yeah. We're like, yeah. I like he's to take the back. He's like, he's like, <laughs> all right. He's like, I'm gonna. And you tell McMichael's goes off to get some tea just to have something to do. He's not probably thirsty, he's just having something to do. He doesn't get himself in trouble anymore. <laughs> yeah, we oh. kind of have like a, oh, bless, kind of look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> at that, right. at the moon I eyes was, there. don't start shit, McMichaels. <laughs> 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 that was my look. <laughs> well, uh, being the captain of the ship, Myrtle, you, you kind of get acquainted with uh, Marv. Marv's ready to go down to engineering, no problem. Take a, you're, you're, you're definitely curious about the ship, Marv. But the, um, uh, Myrtle and Wyatt, you're you know you're going over the mission parameters and stuff like that too. And the, the next trick to this whole thing is trying to find uh, the Cleptus. We have a good idea where this is going to be. Uh, you do know you have a, tra- a last known trajectory of it, and based on that, that's where you're going to try to like follow around on it. Um, it looks like a minimum of like about seven to nine days travel uh, at a reasonable rate. Don't want to start liquefying the belters. Right. Um. Where, where exactly were we go headed? What direction? Like, are we what system? It's it's oh, like Saturn, it's, it's, right? No, no, no. It's not that far out. It's in between the belt and Jupiter. Oh, okay. So it's it's just between uh, these belts, but it's not in the current. Um, you're not heading towards Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter's like past of the orbit, basically, and you're going kind of where it was. This it would have been going out that way. Okay. Um, cool. But yeah, as, as far as the ship went dark uh, a few weeks ago, and hopefully the, the idea is that you might be able to find it based on that last known path, um, unless it hit an asteroid. Hopefully that wasn't the case. Well, we'd still be able to find out if we found some kind of wreckage or whatever. So, hey, Doc. Um, that uh, So go ahead and hook up with our team here. If you need anything, just feel free to come ask. You can easily talk to me. You can talk to Wyatt. You could talk to Zenny, you could talk to Waxor, we'll totally help you out with whatever you need. Perfect, thank you. I'm, I'm excited to be here uh, with everyone. Um, hopefully I can uh, uh, help make sure that um, any of the uh, more, um, uh, how do I want to say this, um, uh, finesse-oriented pieces of this mission can go very smoothly. I'm looking forward to helping the team with that. Well, yeah, we are a little rough around the edges, 
inside and out. So, um, yeah, any help you can give would be appreciated. And, and when Myrtle says that, you can't think of a better way to describe this ship. Rougher on the inside and outside <laughs> around the edges. It's it, you're Just rough. You don't, I mean, you don't think you're going to... <laughs> You don't think you're going to die here, but you wouldn't rule it out. Oh my God. It's <laughs> our mess. It's our mess, and we love our mess. Yeah, we'll it could be a better mess. mess. Right. It could we'll be a better too. mess, but we're, it's our mess. Yeah, so the, the one Belter Drax, he's like, all right, he's like, all right, Mom, I'll take, I'll take you down downstairs, no problem. And you can see Wait, this guy, thank you. He's, got like a, he's got a jumpsuit on a bunch of series patches. Looks like he used to work on this docks of series. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't have a whole lot of patches for other missions or other ships, just mostly series uh, dock stuff like that. He, Starts taking you down the lift and such. He goes, "Yeah, the, the ship's kind of weird. It, it's it's been like uh, refitted a bunch. Uh, you probably saw the uh, uh, the cone on the outside. Yeah, uh, it seemed like it was a little. I don't want to say out of place, but uh, you know, definitely not original." He's like, "No, it's 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 needed." And he he takes you down into the uh, the reactor room in engineering, and. You get a glimpse of this system, and it's has a ton of aftermarket parts on it. Um, okay. It, you're thinking all that, that that was there to compensate whatever the hell they did to this drive. This thing, like, in terms of theoretical, this thing actually is theoretical. <laughs> like, and it's right in front of you. Okay. Um, and he goes, yeah, yeah, you can take a look. Uh, he's like, yeah, the Sinclair, man, uh, from what I understand and what I read, uh, this, this thing can push, like, 20 Gs if you want it to. Uh, it go it go about faster than most of those Martian ships, but it ain't safe to do that. Yeah, sure. Well, hey, I appreciate that. Um, I might ask a couple of questions here and there, but uh, perhaps we can just poke around. I might be able to uh, help. Yeah, let me with let me a little efficiency and, here. Yeah, let me go. Yeah, let me go call up. Uh, hold on, he goes. He goes. Hey, boss, bang, and he, uh, Wyatt, you get a little buzz on your on your hand terminal. Yo, what's up? Hey, uh, we gotta put. We gotta put Marv in the system for the permissions. Can you do that real quick? I'll look at uh, Myrtle. What do you think? Um, so let's have, give him. A... We have low what? level, we have mid level, yeah. and we have high level. You are the only you are the only two with high level, which basically means weapon systems. Mid level will let him access engineering stuff. Yeah, I think yeah, we should definitely um, have it mid, but also keep an eye on it. Yeah, we can do that. So we can see wherever <laughs> he might decide to play. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do that, and I'll also look over at McMichaels and be like, what are you doing up here? Go down there with them and keep an eye on everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's like, well, actually, I'll talk to you. I want to talk to you about Drax. I got some problems with them. Well, you can figure that out on your own. You're a grown-ass man. Go. Well, no, man, it's it gonna, it gonna be a problem for all of us sooner or later. All right, we'll go back to Drax and Marv. So, Marv, you see your, your name kind of pop up on the system, and, and Drax is standing there, and he's like, you can tell he's kind of nervous. Like, he probably hasn't spent a lot of time on a ship, um, most sure. of docks and everything. And you, you can now access access the ship. You start looking at like the stuff, and you you smell something weird, you smell like a burning smell. And you look back at Drax, and Drax is like smoking a joint in engineering. <laughs> That's where you do it. <laughs> All right, That's exactly I, 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 just, where you I do it. Like onyx man. <laughs> I, I, I clock it. I take a second. You know, I just kind of turn back to what I'm doing. Like, uh, will you mind uh, uh, lending me a hand with this here? Uh, it looks like uh, this coupling might be a little loose. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. No, we go do it. He's like, all right. And he kind of puts it off on the side. He goes, yeah, I'll start about that. And he kind of waves it out. And you can hear the air cycle. The recycler is like kicking in harder uh, to get the stuff out of the air. And he goes, yeah, sorry about it. He's like, I just, my first mission in space, it, it's, it's kind of rough. How, oh. do you, how do you guys do this, huh? Well, uh, so for, I, I, I practically was raised uh, in, in space, so, you know, this is just secondhand to me. I, I spend more time in a ship than I spend on a planet, so... Uh, wow, it's like, yeah, I spend most of my life on series. I go on a few skips around, but nothing like this big or fast. Yeah, sure. Hey, you know, I get that. Uh, if you'd like, I, I can uh, try to, you know, show you a couple couple little tips and tricks. May, may yeah, yeah, you. sure. He's like, don't, little... tell, no, don't tell the other those man. Those, they, they make fun of me, man. Yeah, that. no, but, sure, sure. But uh, yeah, and he goes and he, he grabs his joints, starts smoking the rest of it real quick, like, like trying to drag it out real quick. So then McMichael's in there with you, uh, White. He goes, Yeah, dude, McMichael. He goes, Yeah, Drax smokes pot down in the engineering. <laughs> and he's like, No, he's like, No, he's like, Look, he's like, Don't be wrong, man. Like, it's, it's, I got no problem with him doing that, but like, I don't want him doing an engineering near our air recyclers. Like, that means like, I don't want to have an air recycler burned out when we have to have it for an emergency. That, I think that's a threat to the ship. That's all I'm saying. No, I, I agree with you. That's... Uh, if he wants to, sm if he's smoking in, in the cargo bay or in the rooms, whatever, but not down where like 
the thing that keeps us all alive. Yeah, all right. So uh, if you could talk to him, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I'll send uh, Zinni down there and let her talk to him. Maybe she can get him to. Am I? Is this still in like the the? Yeah, the, I mean, Michael's is not being subtle about this. He's like telling. He's telling mm-hmm. on Drax. He's trying to get Drax in trouble. Right. I was just wondering if this was still in the same like area where we all were. Yeah, he's not being okay. discreet. There's there's no there's no like private HR room on the ship. Right. I'll just kind of look over at you. Guys have a break right. instead. All right. Let's, let's sink ships, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah uh, so, uh, do you want to go down and talk to Drax, Danny? Yeah, I guess oh, so. Right. And I'm just kind of like, as I pass McMichael's, just like, st- just glare at him. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. I'll, I'll head over to McMichael's. He's like, too. he's like, he's like, I didn't get all these, I didn't get all these safety certifications for nothing. Yeah, sure. Uh, and he looks, he he looks to Waxer's union. Asshole, I'm just gonna walk out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So, you go on down, you, you come to see Marv, and you see uh, Drax there. And they, they look like they're working, like, it looks like Marv's like, kind of taking them in and helping them show some stuff about the about the drive engine and everything that too. And uh, yeah, you're doing some tightening up work. It feels good, Marv, to like kind of be like in a new ship and the challenge of it. Uh, this thing though, like it's, it's a lot of engines strapped to like a tin can. Yeah. Now I imagine that uh, probably uh, while I'm like showing just some little tidbits about like, oh, you know, like we should check this and make sure that that's like, uh, you know, running as efficiently as it should be. What I'm really doing, right? Cause this is all just secondhand nature. But what I'm really doing is I'm looking around like, okay, where are my safety concerns? Yeah. How does this <laughs> thing work? Uh, do I need to be concerned for my life? It, it seems like unless they unless they gun it, and right now the the current captain that's the, seems to be the pilot uh, runs the ship pretty conservatively on the engine. They're not flooring sure, it. Sure. Um, yeah. And well, the one thing that does strike you, uh, Marv, give me a give me a roll engineering, and this will be a diagnostics roll, so you get your extra level plus one. All right. Roll, roll, roll the game. Get that gentlemen. roll. Yeah. Or uh... actually, technically, technically, it's a second roll because Drax did the first roll. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, fair, <laughs> fair. Um, okay, Josh's so... first roll, everyone. Yay! Hey. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's uh, my... I got a plus six to add to that, so... Uh, uh, that's what, a, a 17? I can do math. Okay, okay. And you get extra plus one because it is a diagnostic. You take a look at the system, and here's what's weird. Here's what's throwing you the hell off. The logs for this ship are blank. Uh, a pro, about three weeks ago, there's blank out. There's no like like logs to the ship of what it was doing, where it had been going. Um, you're guessing there's records on other stations. Like it was clearly at Sirius Station like a month and a half ago. Uh, they talked about going to Ganymede, but like the logs of the ship have been wiped and that should not occur. And that's a little bit of a red flag for you. Yeah, sure. Um, I think maybe I'll just like, uh, 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 perhaps as Zenny walks in and we're just kind of making some idle chit chat while, you know, oh, and be sure to tighten that thing while you're at it. Uh, I'll just kind of go, so uh, when was the last time we took this thing in to uh, make any repairs or anything like that? Carson Zenny? You're just asking the question out loud in the room while there's two people who oh, could answer it. Drax says, yeah, the ship was docked for a month at series. Yeah, I hope it was... Uh... I hope it was repaired a little bit while it was there. It was uh, apparently a bit expensive to uh, to keep it there. Sure, sure. Well, you know, I mean, parking's always expensive. Uh, uh, sure, just curious. I was seeing some some weird diagnostics here. It looks like uh, oh, you, prior you to... found it. Did you find it? You found it too, right? Yeah, uh, it looks like prior to three weeks ago, basically no record of this ship exists. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I, wasn't it me and, and Drax had actually found that? Yeah. Or Drax found it earlier? Yeah, 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 yeah Drax yeah, found yeah. it and was like, yeah. this is weird. Uh, yeah, uh, Zenny will, like, glance over to, to, to Drax and say, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, uh, we're new on this ship, too. He's uh, like, he's like, oh, come on, Marvin, man, you know, you know who you're working for, this Anderson Dawes business, okay business, whatever they're doing... Yeah, I had some questions about that. Uh, that t- oh, uh, Drax, we got to talk about something later. But uh, I had some questions about that. <laughs> He's not doing that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, what sort of what sort of connections do you have with Dawes? Well, it's kind of here and there. Uh, so 
You want the 30 second version? I mean, I'll just like sit down on Back the, on the yes. like this, the like ladders. I'm, I was gonna say no, but okay. <laughs> I was getting comfortable. <laughs> Fair enough. Wait, long and short of it is, uh, you know, for a long time, I, I for for Marsh Republic, I was doing all kinds of uh, engineering, did my time, academia, military. But, uh, you know, I think there's so much more uh, that you can really do in terms of uh, innovation and invention if you're not confined by certain uh, limitations. And so that's why I've started working with, uh, let's say, um, less uh, strictly aff limiting affiliations. I mean, I can... I can respect that, I suppose. Seems a little um, dangerous to be out here all the time, but I mean, you seem to be well, doing all right. You've got the sure. big smarts. You know, I spend a fair bit of time uh, doc too, trying to get a little work done here and there. I got a, well, actually, shit, I got a paper to write. Um, oh, what you writing about? <laughs> Uh, so, I, I've got a, a paper to present at a conference uh, next week about, um, uh, I just like kind of give them a look over. It's some really... He's smarter than he looks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's some really high level theoretical physics, specifically how perhaps we can use slipstreams in order to uh, get a more efficient uh, fuel usage for our Epstein engines. Out of the big brain. Out of the big brain. You see, you see Drag Drag says that out loud as he finishes his joint. Uh, going back up top, Hurdle, you start plotting a course, trying to figure out how to find this thing. Uh, needle and a haystack type deal, but at least you have a trajectory to kind of follow. Try to intercept right. a few points. Um, you put in the uh, the coordinates. The engine starts burning. How hard do you want to burn on this? Uh, the crew can, will comfortably sit at a 0.3 G burn. Uh, you could push to a 0.5. They'd probably be able to deal with it. If you want to hit one G, you're gonna have to tell the belters to strap it and juice up. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with um, a point. I'm gonna let everybody know. Right. You guys, I'm gonna make one. this. Yeah, I got on. Um, Y'all, I'm going to um, bump this up a little bit. So um, if in case you want to have a seat and, you know, or just be ready, make sure that uh, you got your boots on and uh, we're going to up this uh, a little bit. I'm going to take it up to a 0.5. It kind of goes. Um, the news. You, uh, uh, Marv, as this happens, as the, the drive begins to rev up, you make you definitely pay, pay attention to how much radiation is coming off of it just in case. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, uh, ruling out having children at this point may not be a bad move in this room. Uh, but, uh, you, uh, it revs up and, and the ship corrects course and you can feel it going. Um, you guys got about a week before you're going to hit this location. What do you guys want to do on the ship in that week's time? Uh, in terms of prepping, setting up, um, the, the, the mission, Marv, is to go find this ship called, uh, uh, Cleftis. Cleftis. Yeah, the Cleftis. Uh, and try to salvage it, hopefully get it back up and running if it is a problem, or if not, bring the cargo on to the Sinclair and uh, for salvage. Um, what does everyone want to do? Let's start, let's start with the captain. Captain, do you guys, and you can issue orders too, Myrtle. You are the captain. Yeah, um, so I'm going to kind of take it down to uh, whoever's over on ops. Okay. Uh, to kind of, no. um, yeah, it's, it's keep, keep an eye out. Um, you know, for anything that comes up on scopes, anything that's weird, anything that stands out that we just can't explain. You you can set the uh, if you want to set the the AI on that, you can the the yeah. over the hierarchical system. Yeah, so that that sets up and starts running the systems and the scans. Right. Uh, but what I want people to do though is I want people to you know to not sit on their asses for a week. So I'm kind of like, hey, it's this is engineering. Point, what I'd like you to look at is like, how how is the speed we're going now affecting everything? You know, so just kind of a task list of things for people to do. 
Um, do you want to put Zen? Know. Do you want to put Zenny on ops? Because right now, like yeah, your, yeah, other, yeah. your other crew, I think have... there's I think there's a there's a day pretty early on where Zenny is just like wandering the halls and comes up to like where wherever like you're you're sitting at whatever station you're sitting at and just like leans against the wall and says, "Uh, so Cap, um, what do you want me to do? I have uh, I just uh." You've got a lot of uh, good experience, you know, and I don't even know all your skills yet, but what I'm looking for is, sure, I can have AI do these things, but I want somebody to really keep an eye out, you know, an eye out for what's going on outside, what's going on inside. Don't um, if, do that. <laughs> you know, see if there's anything that might just not feel right, you know, on the ship, you know, you get that feel when you start traveling. So whether it's crew, but really I kind of want you to have another Another set of eyes on the operations, on everything that's happening to us and outside of us. So that would so, be really helpful to me. So then she kind of sets you up on like the uh, the sensor slash communications thing. Um, I should also mention, don't forget to Myrtle, you have that uh, communications did not go out. Uh, you had in the buffer. Yep. Found from Zenny, so just make sure you have that. Uh, but Zenny, you're on the you're on the you're on the kind of comms like and you do see that your message was not sent out uh, while you're <laughs> there. But in addition. <laughs> Uh, you start can sift, you also you can start looking at the comm system, or you can start looking at the uh, the scanning the scans. Which one do you want to focus on? So I can look at the comm system. Okay, if I start looking at the scans, it's mostly like do what do what Myrtle wants me to do. Yeah. Or comms, which is not that. Um, I think at first I'm gonna do the the scans okay. just to actually do something and give figure me a, it out a little bit. Give me an intelligence technology test. I hate to tell you this, y'all. It's, not, it's not, not my forte. Believe it or not. Here's not my friend. All right, though, but however, how, however, though, um, 16. Right. And you get a plus one, too, because the, the system layers are pretty decent. So, yeah, um, you can start scanning through, and uh, you look at the trajectory, and you can see that there's a little, like, the system is picking up a very faint uh, kind of pulling the direction, and it, it looks like it's actually you guys are on target, uh, trying to find this thing. Uh, you, you're well time out for, to get there, but you're definitely on the right path, and everything's mashing up in terms of like where you guys are navigating. So, uh, whatever Myrtle typed into the computer to navigate was appropriate. Um, Myrtle, give me a leadership test too. I want you to do that. That's under uh, communication, I think. You're a leader now. <laughs> actually have leadership. <laughs> Well, 14. 14. What'd you get on the drama die? Uh, that would be a two. Two? Okay. Um, and so, uh, and also, I, and I want to do something else on this, is I want to send a um, a message to my wife <laughs> to let her know, like, just status update, you know, hey, we found the guy, because I'm, you know, I'm kind of like in the shit right now with her. So it's like, hey, everything's fine. We found the guy that we're supposed to meet. We're on our way to do this thing. Everything is fine. And the, so light delay on, the light delay on this isn't bad. It's only it's only about like a like an eight minute light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you get a message back saying that she's happy you're safe and that she's glad you're working and, and make sure that you know she's happy this is going this way. This is what this will happen. Uh, Wyatt, <laughs> um, yeah, you 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 know McMichael's had kind of brought up the the joint again. Once again, he doesn't have a problem with the guy smoking pot. It's just like, come on, dude, don't do it in engineering. Don't do it in like the shop. Oh. Uh... I'll go down to wherever Drax is. And uh, he's done engineering with Mar. They've been kind of hanging out, getting buddy buddy. As an aside, I never actually talked to Drax about it. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. We got distracted by records and logs on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> We're geeks of computers, guy. Let's, was let's I pretend, ever going to talk to you about her? Let's on. pretend was to look at spreadsheets. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, but yeah, you go down and you see him and he's down there with Marv and they're kind of working on that too. I'll kind of wave him over here. He goes, oh, he's like, hey, what's up, Boss Bang? He's like, yeah, hey, Marv's a smart, smart guy. He's got a good one to bring on, man. Yeah, I, that's what I've been told. Um, that's not why I'm here, though. You need to quit smoking your pot in engineering. You got a room when you want it, but, go. But yeah, I got that room on, I got that room in the machine shop. I, I shared Big Michael's. Big Michael's doesn't want me smoking in the room, so I can't smoke up there. Do you want me to go up to the crew deck, the galley, and do it? Where else could he go? Like, what all options does he oh, have? Like, you could, I mean, he can smoke anywhere on the ship, honestly, and the scrubbers will work. 
think Michael's concern was that the scrubbers would work. If there was an issue down in engineering, the scrubbers might be burned out because of having to scrub the, the pot smoke out of the air. You can go that hang was, in the brig. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean that would be the easiest room to hotbox. Let's not criminalize. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The thug like is here that we criminalize. <laughs> no! <laughs> God damn, this is the most mundane shit in the world. Me- but. Meanwhile, <laughs> Laxer, I'm, I'm making a no, like a no smoking sign that I'm going to hang okay. in engineering. Okay. Well, this is happening for he's you. Like, no, he's like, no, he's like, hey, hey, I'm sorry. I'm not, he's like, it wasn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't mean to. He says, I'm just really nervous about, about flying. He's like, I never really been out this far. Listen, buddy, I, I really don't care what you do with your free time. <laughs> just don't do it in here. Okay. Okay. I, so I appreciate that. Buffy. He's like, Thank, thanks for giving the shot, man. He's like, I, I, I want to make sure everyone here's safe in there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. we don't want. Like, we don't risk anything. Yeah, he's like, yo, Dawes, but he's like, yeah, once, once, like, it's just kind of weird because, like, you know, when Dawes kick the earth is out, like, he let us smoke where we want to on Thirty. You can smoke anywhere you want to, but here. Okay. I, no, I get. It. I get him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he, 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 he seems genuinely apologetic. Like, it's like, all right. Uh, if, Marv, if it becomes a problem, though, I'm gonna. We'll have to deal with it. Give me, give me, give me an intimidation test, man. Fuck it. It's going to be scary as jealous, dude. <laughs> is that, uh, what is that under communication? Uh, strength, actually. I'll, I'll do communications if you want to, then, instead. You're not, like, yeah. physically trying to threaten them. Have leadership. Can I use leadership? Do you want to use leadership? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're like, hey, buddy, winners don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> winners Six. don't do drugs in engineering. Yeah, not in engineering. engineering. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? 18. Oh, not a problem. Yeah. yeah, he's like, he's like, yo, he's like, no, he, he hears you, man. He, he, pre- he's like, I appreciate you coming and talk to me, like, you know, uh, mono and mono. I appreciate it. So, oh. um, you and, uh, you and McMichael's need a little, you know, kind of. He's like, McMichael's the one tell you? Oh, man. Oh. God, he got it in <laughs> for me, man. Like, it's all right. Yeah. all right. It don't matter. I see it. I, I didn't say he's the one that told me. All I see is all this crap you guys got going on back and forth. And it's quite honestly, it's really annoying. So figure out your problem. Get along good. Okay, okay, man. Good. Waxer, you're in cargo with uh, doing some inventory stuff with McMichaels. Yeah. And McMichaels is like, yo, man, this is it. They're doing it. That's what Daw said they're going to do, man. They're going to replace us one by one. They go on and bring a new Martian on. Take our, take my job, even Drax. I mean, I may not like Drax, but man, they're trying to take his position too. Oh, be quiet, man. Uh, just uh, just keep do, just keep counting uh, counting all the stuff. I mean, you, think, you think just it's a coincidence? You think it's a coincidence that the Innards run the ship and their expert is an Innard too? Come on, man! This is it all. It all don't look good, man. I'm just saying it look, don't look good. Look, look, Copang. You just we don't want to start nothing. Uh, the cap's good. The, the XO they they're good. They're running the ship good, man. Uh, we just brought you in, so your job is to just keep doing it and start no trouble. This oh, man. Telling, telling Drax uh, he can't smoke an engineer, it. man. I seen you smoking uh, a joint down in engineering. Come on. Uh, okay, 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 okay. No, I, see how, I see how it is, man. I see how it is. Okay, okay. Look, look, look. We'll talk about it after we finish this, but, but uh, just look, it, it's going to be fine. Nobody's going to replace you. We're giving you a job. And you're, you're working with me. They ain't going to replace me. So don't worry about it, McMichaels. You got to... I'm going to go see if I can get you some sedatives from the from the, <laughs> the med bay. I appreciate that, man. It's, all, it's okay, yeah. man. He's like, you know, I'm just on edge, man. He's just after... I just don't, I just don't trust the end of the after Ganymede, man. That was bad stuff. You know? Yeah. So I don't know, man. And, and you got one telling me he worked for military. This other one, new one, he told me he worked for military. Your captain worked for military. You know, hey... Dawes, Dawes, uh, this this doc, he worked for Dawes, man. So, you know, he gonna he's he the brains. He's gonna go and help salvage and fix the ship. So just just try to take take a no, deep no, breath. No, I, I don't want no trouble. You, I don't you want right, to. You right though, man. He's all, I think I think that's a good way to put them. Man, he's a Dawes. He know well Walla. So that that's you're right, yeah. man. He he he. Maybe he. Oh, that's a cool. I didn't think about it that way. Maybe Dawes playing these innards. You think, like sh- you think too much. You think too much, Big Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he's like, too much, yeah. well, I've got a lot of time down in engineering, man. I think it's that joint you're smoking. It's making your brain go. But no, no, no. Just let's uh, just fix, let's just uh, work on the mag lift and don't worry about it. I take care of it. Like, no, nah, man. I'll I just, I just he's like, well, I found this. Is I found this can down there, and he pulls out this can, and it's like a motor oil can. Yeah. And he's like, yo, man, I do. I, I found this like thing talking. I found this little document talking about dipping your joints into that and smoking them, and it's pretty good. 
Oh man, I don't know. That must have been the old engineer. And I heard I heard about him a little bit, but some he went crazy or something. He got he got. The, well, I heard too, man. But that, I bet you that's why they delete the logs, huh? You heard about that? They delete the logs. Yeah, yeah, I heard it from Zenny. No one, no one, no one. The engineer went crazy, and now we, the engineers, all man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know this we. This ship is doll's ship, man. So we was just doing stuff. They probably get, they don't want nothing on ah. it. So don't worry about it. All right. Okay. Michael's bad. McMichael's, yeah. McMichael, he's getting conspiracy theory action. Oh, yeah. He's like the, he's like the chaos, the yeah. chaos co <laughs> Yeah. He's, I, I'm glad you like him. Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> all right. Marv. Uh, yeah, man. Check the ship out. It's been pretty good. Uh, it's, a, it's an older ship. It's been patched together, repatched. It is actually surprisingly heavily armed. Uh, it has at least, like, you're guessing, like, a dozen torpedoes in a pair of magazines ready to go. Um, PC network and the like. Um, one thing that has struck you about the ship is that the one part of the ship that, like, actually is, for you, almost, like, terribly impressive uh, is that there's an executive AI on the on board that seems to, like, like, so you have, like, these specialized AI systems that kind of control individual parts. There's a hierarchical AI system that controls it can control those different systems and it's like terrifyingly efficient like the ship can almost run itself if you, if you ask it to kindly well that's not exactly my uh area expertise but i may i may see if i can't go poke around uh, and see a, if i can't figure out just kind of what exactly uh what exactly like this thing is running on like <laughs> Where was this made? What exactly is it? Give me a um, give me an uh, tech, intelligence technology test. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's a uh, sixteen. You start kind of cracking in. I'll put the diagnostics to get plus one, so it's seventeen. Um, what did you get on the drama die? The off color die. Uh, it was a two. two. Okay. You start cracking into the system a little bit, and the AI kind of like. It has like an adaptive encryption as you do as you try to break into it it seems to like resist you and modify itself as according to your things this ai is secure and it almost seems like short of like going in and pulling the the, the data cores the memory cores out of the ship you're not going to get rid of it oh sure sure i'm not even necessarily looking to like interrupt anything that's doing i'm looking to like go and like just find the system information it's like who made it what are the specs can I get any idea of how complete, it actually operates? Complete custom job. It does have uh, the signs of a Mar of Martian engineering. Um, and you're guessing that it's expert systems are what are keeping all the parts of the engine from like exploding. It's like it, it micromanages the fucking rock <laughs> to keep it all on online. It, it, this all is right. terrifying, but also very kind of like I just like maybe grab some uh, results from it, just like uh, some some yeah. form of uh, like a printout a of, screen, of yeah. what it's doing. Basically, I just like to capture that and maybe uh, I'll just shoot a message, uh, send that back to uh, Doctor uh, Diwali. I think, um, I think. Yeah, you pull some you pull some diagnostic information off of it, yeah. Myrtle. You get a ding saying an outgoing message pending. To, uh, back to uh, Mars, actually, to one Wait, uh, to one of the universities. Say? Wait, on, I'm on, I'm on ops. What I also oh, you're on say. ops. Okay. Do you I get a little? Ops, so you me. get a little ding coming up saying there's a queued message uh, for high level security clearance. Basically, the XO or the captain uh, mm -hmm. with a message going to with a message directing wanting to direct to Mars. You don't currently have access to this unless you want to try to hack into this or to like override their security. Do I have access to see what the message is at all? Or just that I just got the notification? Yeah, you can, pull, you can see the messages. Cool. I want to see who it's It's like an attachment of file basically saying, hey, you know, uh, hey, doc, you know, hey, doctor, uh, some like egghead on, on Mars at, at the university saying, like, here's a bunch of weird diagnostic information off the ship I'm on. I want to basically what I. Yeah, basically, I'm like, I'm looking to see if there's like any any iffy things in the context, but mostly who it's going to, because that's who I, that's it's, what I care about. It's going to uh, a professor at a uni at a Martian university, uh, basically saying like, hey, what do you, what's your opinion of this? This is weird. We haven't, why didn't we think of this? Like type situation. Oh, um, talking about kind of how like the belt of ingenuity on the ship is impressive. Hmm. 
but it also has Martian, like it also has Martian tech on it too. It's a weird kind of message. It, you don't really, you can't make heads or tails of it. Like you're not going to understand this diagnostic information, but it's, yeah. it's definitely yeah, I'm not. Up. I'm mostly just, yeah, I'm mostly just wanting to log in my head the name of the person that this uh, is. Oh, what's the name again, uh, Josh? Uh, Doctor Budaval. Doctor Budaval. Doctor Budaval. Um, okay. Um, cool. But yeah, I would. Uh, I would. I would. Uh, you know, back out of it so it looks like it's a new message again, and uh, pa- uh, paging Cap'n. They're right there. <laughs> I'm right here. Oh, hello. Sorry. Hello. Yeah, there's a message here. <laughs> oh, sweet. Um, I'll take a look at it. And I was like, ah, that's interesting, and I will not send it. I will not let it go through. <laughs> keep the ship dark. Okay. I will keep the ship dark. Yeah, you put it in the queue. Uh, and, and Marv, you get that thing that the message is like queued up. It's not being sent out. You're guessing because they don't want to type beam and let basically let the Martian Navy know where they're going. Oh, sure. I understand that. I, I'm not a big deal. Just it's whenever it does have a chance to go. Um, you guys go on for a week or so and uh, about the ship comes back with a ping. Uh, it does. A, it has a, it comes back with a hull scan of a ship um, about a thousand kilometers out or about necessarily about, uh, we'll say about 10,000 kilometers out that looks to be uh, the Cleftis. Okay. Um, uh. The scanner comes back, tells you a few pieces of information really quick. Uh, the engine is not on. There is no, there is no drive signature at all going on with it. Uh, no reactor or well, the reactor is not active. Um, is our scans pick up like can they pick up life? Like if there's no, like that's like, like heat signatures uh, or anything. Uh, you can pull up major heat signatures like the like the like the engine, but like pull okay, up like a like human being. It's the background radiation over over the sensors on your ship are that high. Okay, right, I'm gonna ping Wyatt and have him come up. Wyatt comes up to ops. We got Zenny on ops. Waxer, where do you want to be? Uh, cargo. Yeah, I'll, I'll be ready on cargo just to, okay. in case we need to uh, put load up the ship. Uh. Barb, where do you want to be? Uh, I imagine I'll probably be in engineering. Uh, they, they can provide you a feed of the uh, of what the scanners are pulling into down in yeah, the screen. Yeah, I'll probably be keeping an eye on that. Watching. And you can see the ship. Uh, the ship is intact, uh, fully intact. It isn't like it's been like, you know, beheaded or something like that. There's no major damage you can do, but it is definitely the reactor is off. It's definitely offline. It's not radiating. So it, looks, it looks like a derelict of some sort or something has happened so it's not in a million pieces no is it's it definitely just, intact it's, is it just free floating like in yeah it's, it's just it's still on a trajectory going else? like like okay. you guys had a trajectory you guys are going and right. it's going the same trajectory but there's no tea kettling off of it like none of the, the thrusters are you don't see the thrusters are activating it's just kind of drifting uh along the elliptical so do you think you could um just a tats right beside it there cap i'll do my best yeah, you could get you wanna team. you wanna get everybody ready in case we need to go over? Yeah, I'll, I can get a team together. You know, we'll leave some here and take some with us, but who do you oh. want left here with you? I'll give you I'll give you a quick information about, about the uh, Cleftis. It's a Grendel class light freighter. It's about sixty five meters long, uh ten to fifteen meters in diameter, depending where you are on the ship. Um, it has three cargo bays. There's uh one in the fore and there's two mid. It does have a PDC network, but it doesn't have torpedoes or anything like that. And the PDC network is probably just for like asteroids and stuff like that usually. However, though, um, you do notice from the outside there is one cargo bay on it that's been uh, kind of heavily modified, where it's not a cargo bay anymore. It now has like um, arms on it, like like you know like uh, arms to like for salvage and stuff like that. You would see along with a small Gleason class work skiff bay, like a little two person skiff. So it's a salvage ship. Like it has uh, the stuff to like, salvage and grab stuff and it on board and then move it um wax or you kind of catch a glimpse of it i mean this looks like the standard kind of like ships you guys would unload i mean fancy to you mm-hmm. um it's definitely yeah. been specialized a little bit but that's about it uh marv oh. it's the ship you were assigned to find as far as you can tell so hey doc what what exactly are we looking for on this ship have they told you well, so there's a couple of things that we're looking for here. Obviously, uh, I think it's safe to say that um, any cargo of value needs to make its way back. But uh, additionally, I'm personally here for uh, some diagnostic information, perhaps figure out what happened 
as to uh, why this ship may be dead in the water and then um, there I, I've heard some rumors that there might be some uh, uh, modified tech on the ship just whatever that may be I want to take a quick look and see if perhaps we can make some heads or tails of that okay um, so. Yeah, and um, I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I think you guys talked to Dawes, but like the ship was salvaging uh, warships, basically hold on tech where they could find um, mm -hmm. near the cargo base. There's maybe something in there of value, um, but the transponder on it is off. It was running dark. That makes a lot of sense. Why? Based on its mission, um, it wouldn't want to be transponding that saying, "Hey, I'm I'm taking over the bones of your dead." <laughs> um, but uh, do you? Uh, Myrtle, did you want to, like, what do you want to do? Do you want to, like, uh, approach it? Do you want to hail it? Do you want to do more scans? Do you want to send the drones out? What do you want to do? Uh, yeah, I'm going to send, uh, actually, first I'll hail it. Let's see um, if there's anything. You sent a, you sent a straight tight beam to it. Uh, the thing comes back saying it hit the surface of their sensors. You don't get anything back. It, there's no uh, response. Um, all right. Tight beam. You can try to broadcast if you want to also, but that's a little more dangerous. Yeah. Um, all right. So, um, hey, Wyatt, do you want to, you and Waxer, maybe take a look at getting a drone out there? Yeah, we can uh, fire up Blinky and see what it can do. I'll uh, I'll message down to Waxer because he's what downstairs. You said yeah, he's in the cargo bay. Yeah. yeah. I'll have him. I'll tell him what we want to do because I assume the. Where would we control those the, from? The, uh, ops. The, the drones are actually mounted on the outside of the ship. Yeah. Um. There's a little drone bay that you guys attach to the side, so they, they just open up, and then whichever drone you want to drop off, you can put it, and you can operate it from ops really easily. Um, you can operate it through either like the AI, give it a mission, and follow along, or you can go to manual control, and you can swap back and forth really easily. Hey, Waxer, you want to come up here and uh, play with some drones for a little bit? Oh, yeah, yeah, on my way up, XO. All right, buddy. Actually, you get up in the you get up in the ops and you sit down in the chair, and there's like the drone controls and everything. Oh, no yeah. problem. You have the chair. I always like to do this manual. Yeah, um, uh, they're asking you to fire up Blinky. You fire up Blinky, no problem. It's a basic surveillance drone. It has like different spectrums that you can like view in, so infrared, uh, ultraviolet, that kind of stuff. Um, it's not a big drone. It's it's maybe about like um, I probably put it like maybe uh, two thirds of a meter in, in diameter. Um, how, how close do you want to get to the ship, though? Uh, the drone cannot make the flight from where you guys are currently about 10,000 uh, kilometers out. You'd have to get closer. How close do you want to get to it, Myrtle? Uh, I want to try half that first. You come in 5,000 kilometers. Is that enough? Um, and it's still a little, that's still quite a ways for the drone to make. You're probably going to want to get within like maybe 100 because the, yeah. the drone. Well, I'm just checking, you know, to see if anything changes with us getting closer. I'm um, taking a very cautious, slow yeah. movement into okay. there. The ship stays on course. It's it's at a very it's at a steady uh, velocity. It's not accelerating. Uh, you can easily kind of like uh, dock with it if you wanted to, or you could try to EVA to it. Um, but yeah, you get within about like 100 kilometers, uh, 50 kilometers, to where you can get the drone over to it if you want to. Yep. Or yep. Uh, okay. all right. Yeah, we yeah. can match it going. I don't yeah. want to just throw over yet to try to go on board. All right. Uh, Wax, we fire we fire at Blinky. We plot a course. Blinky starts approaching it. Um, what do you want to look for? Which which section of the ship do you want to look at first? Uh, you can look at like the floor where there's ops. You can look at the cargo bays, or you can look at engineering. I think I'm going to start with uh, the uh, cargo bay, see what it's carrying first, and if we have room, what okay. we're going to transfer. Um, based on the ship's setup, the cargo bay uh, there's four cargo bays. One's been modified into this kind of salvage mm -hmm. rig setup. Um, you can see that all the cargo bays uh, are sealed, and um, all of them have. Uh, atmosphere. Um, so they are, uh, yeah, you can tell the cargo bays are all uh, in, uh, are all intact. Okay. Um, okay. All right, we got atmosphere in the cargo bay if we need to uh, get in there, Captain. Uh, you want me to look uh, at the engines now? Yeah, that'd be great. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. The airlock, the yeah. four airlock on the cargo bay is the one that has the atmosphere. The other one's, uh, don't actually, they're actually cargo bays that don't have atmosphere normally. They just, whatever. Sorry about that. But yeah. Okay, yeah. And then, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to send uh, Blinky over to the engine. Okay. Blinky goes back to engineering. 
Um, it's not picking up any heat signatures inside or anything like that. Like it's it, it's pretty blank. Uh, there's no like energy coming off of the thing. Um, there is electrical. It looks like the electrical systems on board are still functioning. It picks up on some of that spectrum, but um, it's pretty faint. Like it's operating off battery power at this point. So, like um, I want to make sure that. Um, sorry, I'm going to make sure that uh, Doc Martin here has uh, <laughs> Doc Marvin has uh, is being able is able to see all this and see all the the feed coming back. Yeah, and I'll read what I'm seeing like out loud to everybody as we go. Yeah, I'm like I'm like right over like Waxer's shoulder, just like yeah. looking at whatever. We got electrical. I got atmosphere over here. Yeah, just sort of like. Yeah. Um, as you come it. as you come back in engineering, uh, the, the it does start picking up. Uh, it does have a few scans. Um, Marv, you think you see something uh, on on the screen? Do you want to ask Waxer to back up? Yeah, hey, uh, can you take two seconds uh, and have uh, the drone take a closer look at that section over there? I like to run. Yeah, yeah, shut up, shut up. What you want to see? He pulls it over, and this is part of kind of near the engineering bay, and you can see what looks to be a pretty, dis uh, pretty reasonable, not, not a huge puncture, but a puncture on after the ship where it looks like there's, it might have lost half the spirit here. There's like something punctured the, the hull. Yeah, what's that? It's, and it's that. not very big. It's it's a small hole, but it's, it's enough to make a problem. We have another drone we could send out there to maybe repair that hole. Yeah, yeah, we got a. Well, we call him Spanky, but you guys call him Sparky. But we got a. <laughs> we got a, that drone. Yeah, get fix patch that right up. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. If you guys want to do that, go for it. All right, I'll let uh, Mick Michaels know. We're yeah, gonna yeah, he pulls up the other. He pulls up the drone controls and, and starts. Bring uh, Sparky over to patch the hole. Yeah, no messing around, McMichael's Just, just um, patching it up. You you start seeing that like uh, see this hole uh, there, Marv, and then you start to spot another one. And you spot another one. It looks like there's about maybe like 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 four holes in this section of the ship, um, punctured through in a in a pretty not like like all on like one side of the ship. It looks like they're puncturing through or out. Uh, we need the expert Mar Dr. Marv to figure that out. Marv, give me an engineering test, and you get the plus one for being for being a diagnostic check. Sure. Uh, I'm up. Yeah. Where's the exit wound? Uh, it's that's <laughs> a sixteen total, including the plus one. Okay. Cool. Um, nice. Yeah. You you start looking at it, and it looks like uh, they're coming. They came from the inside. Yeah, it looks like out? something burst out. Yeah. I mean, you would have guessed initially there's like micrometeors, but something came from the the inside out and then punched through it. Hmm. Maybe maybe they picked up some uh, war war bomb and went off inside. Yeah. Uh, size wise, are we able to determine is this the size that would look like if someone was to say fire a gun inside of? You a wouldn't ship? rule it out. You don't rule okay. it out. I mean, that's okay. that's a reasonable guess. It's Batters, small. That or like someone pulled a bunch of G's, like a bunch of G's in the bolts, like went through the side of the freaking ship or something, like, like something sure, loose sure. went through it. But yeah. could be a couple of things. Yeah, it's not big enough to send uh, Blinky. No, through, they're right? like yeah. this big. They're yeah, like, okay. yeah, very small. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Mm, that's that's a that's a weird thing, and there's nobody on the ship, huh? Yeah, that's the weirder thing. I'm willing to go over there and check anyone. it out, see what's what's inside if. Yeah, I'd go with you if you if you want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah why? Why don't you grab a team? I think we should take Zenny, probably the doc and Laxer. You're a lot stronger yeah. than all of us. I wouldn't mind having you on our side. Yeah, I'm game. Let's go. Let's board this thing. We got our we got our red shirts. I mean, our away team, and uh, we have <laughs> yes. and then Myrtle. You're gonna, you're gonna stay on board with the rest of the crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Maybe we should bring McMichaels too, just in case. You bring McMichaels? <laughs> yeah, we can bring McMichaels. Yeah. All right, McMichael. He, like, did, he did get off the ship, man. He really yeah, he might be good for him. Not, not happy about it, but he didn't <laughs> yeah. say anything. <laughs> um, do you guys have, like, uh, how do you want to go on board? Do you want to either uh, try to, like, umbilical to the, the airlock, or do you uh, or do you want to uh, EVA, like, use the EVA packs to, like, maneuver to it, or how do you want to get to it? Blew that up you, also could, you also could uh, hitch tow lines to the drones and have them drag you over there, too. Maybe we get a uh, McMichaels on the EVA. <laughs> yeah, I, I would actually be up more for an EVA because I could get you guys back. But if something happens, yeah, um, I don't want y'all stuck there in the 
you know, the umbilical in case yeah. something goes wrong. Yeah. Okay. And you guys only have the one umbilical, so that's going to be a problem too. Yeah. Um, all right. So you Zemi guys... is instantly nervous, by the way, at the prospect of not using an umbilical to go anywhere. <laughs> well, um, we got four EVA thrust to pack. Yeah, right? and you only, yeah, you guys have four EVA. So McMichaels is like, all right, am I going or not? Oh, I guess you can't me. go. Oh. Yeah. Why don't you Why don't you operate uh, Blinky and keep a look at like right. I think keep surveying. Yeah, I'll keep the I'll keep it moving over the ship, um, and uh, but yeah, Blinky's not picking up any like uh, vibrations or nothing. The ship seems like it's just kind of dead in the water. I don't think any, there's any much movement going on inside there. All right, we'll we'll keep repairing them holes. <laughs> and then the other one will automate and start repairing the holes. Okay, cool. So um, I'm hearing everybody's putting on a vac suit. Uh, we got that no problem. Any other EVA sets? Um, I'm guys definitely going all... to take a rifle with me too. Oh yeah. I'm taking. I'm taking my uh, my pistol. All right, you got your little. You got your uh, revolver. Uh, wax or yeah. what do you want to bring? A toolkit or a toolkit and a, a rifle? Yeah. Got a rifle. Uh, Marv, uh, you came prepped and brought your own vac suit. I did, yeah. I've got my own vac suit. I'll need to borrow uh, EVA. That's not something I've ever uh, uh, had one for myself, but... Um, yeah, uh, yeah, we... You, you yeah. notice, though, why him putting this vac suit on? This thing's, like, top-of-the-line type shit. It's, like, scary. Like, it's, like, it has integrated sensors and all this kind of stuff. It almost reminds you of, like, the Martian Mar Marine recon suit, almost. But, like, it's not, like, heavy, like a like power armor or anything like that, but it has a bunch of sensors on it. Pretty impressive. So if uh, something happens to you, Doc, just to let you know, I'm going to take that suit. <laughs> it's nothing well, personal, but it's pretty nice. I like that. You know... That's not a is, threat either. Not a threat at all. It is a good suit. If someone had to have it, I, I think I'm happy to let you have it. But uh, if I had to choose my way, I prefer that we all get out of this one alive. I will do everything in my power to get you back on this ship. I appreciate that, but... You'll notice that I strap on a pistol on my hip, even though I'm hoping that I don't have to do any fighting. <laughs> you know how to use that, Doc? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all right. Oh, I know how to use it. Okay, good. We got a pair of rifles, a pair of pistols, and uh, some basic back suits. Just our along. good looks. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. You guys get in the airlock, cycle it through, no problem. Uh... You can see as it cycles through. You can see the uh, the drones, the one surveillance drones on an automated path, just kind of scanning the ship in case of stuff. Uh, and then you can see Sparky is just like uh, going up and like putting on um, has like a, like Sparky has a little like magazine full of little hull plates, like little hull plates like this big, just to kind of start putting the stuff on and like re-soldering it. Um, yeah. And you're guessing uh, McMichael's is, is telling both to kind of give instructions to you. pretty basic job uh, at this point. They're largely smart enough. Um, Guys, uh, how far away do you want them to go for this, uh, Myrtle? How, how close do you want to get in from the EVA? Mm. Like 10 kilometers? Yeah. Oh. Give them a good it's range. It's not close. It's still no. not close, though. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can get yeah. a little closer. Just, just to be clear, guys, if you guys haven't read the rule book of this game, like 50 kilometers is short range fighting space. <laughs> It, it, um, well, in well, yeah, when in space with the space bullets, but we're just people going into it, space. That's the distance is yeah. very far. It's, it's very different. Yeah, the, we're uh, fine. We're fine. Everything yeah. is good. You're just, fine. You're in the ship still. <laughs> just bring I'll, I'll go first for you, Zinni. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was like. Like that's the whole principle of the Donager and why the Donager's destruction is so scary. Like it can create a thousand kilometer no fly zone around stealth, and it's like no one killed it. <laughs> All right, so um, you guys EVA out. The ship starts coming up pretty pro, uh, pretty fast. Your EVA packs, like they're all automated. They they scan everything out. They approximate the distance. You can, you're welcome to manually control it, or you're Zenny's welcome not. to yeah, let it, let it not. audit it. And it, you can you can sense like the it's coordinated through the ship's sensors too, so you you trust it pretty well. And uh, you guys start approaching it, and it goes into a uh, like kind of stops you guys right outside the airlock. Uh, the airlock you can tell does have atmosphere. Um, it reads green, like it's ready to go and everything like that, too. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to try to get on board, that, was, if that is if you want to go through the airlock. The other pathways are trying to go through one of the cargo bays. That might be a little harder. I'm just going to start heading towards the airlock. I'm not going to risk it. Huh. All right. Yeah. As we get close to the airlock, I'll kind of just say, hey, uh, I think I could probably crack that open. I'll look back at you and be like, just nod my head. Because, uh, go ahead. 
All right, I'll get close with my uh, data pad and see if I can't. Uh... Hold on. Quick thing, uh, give me a uh, tech technology test. Yeah, sure. Look, we love a techie. Ah. Let's go. Yeah. Uh... Need one. I'm good with people, not computers. <laughs> Eighteen total. Okay. Uh, yeah, you go ahead and you manage to start up like the emergency overrides for it real quick, and it. it the airlock opens up. Uh, you can feel, you can see it depressurize. You can see the air of it just kind of flow out. Um, but yeah, you're, you have access to the airlock now, no problem. All right, I'm just gonna keep control of that on my data pad, even as we move away. I'll just Bluetooth it in. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you, you. Uh, who's gonna go in first in the airlock? I opened it. Oh, I'll go oh, first. All right, huh? Martians go first. Um, you guys kind of move on in. Uh, do, does Zenny and uh, Waxer, do you want to follow with them? Or? Oh, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. I'm like, if if Gun Doctor's idea. going first and Wyatt's going second, like, Zenny's, like, so ready to not be just floating in space. <laughs> yeah. Like, so incredibly ready. Sounds good. Um, you get on in, and it's about, you know, it, it's a, about six meters by four meters uh, airlock. It's pretty good. It's a cargo ship, so it can handle quite a bit of tools uh, and devices and such. Um, the... The airlock, uh, it looks like on the other side of the cargo bay, though, uh, it is it is hard vacuum inside, actually. Uh, you're getting readings off the airlock, which said the, the airlock had vacuum, had atmosphere, but inside, it looks like there's no atmosphere inside the actual car, this actual uh, airlock bay. But you guys are in a vac suit, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys got about, you guys got about like uh, four hours of air each. You got it for a while. Well, we're heading in then. All right. Yeah. Who's, who's who's taking point on that door? I'll, we get a marching uh, order. I'll go. Um, do you I guys want to use mag it. boots or do you guys just want to float? I'm going to use mag boots. I also am going to use mag boots. Um, free fall would help me if I floated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll that's float. Or that's her actually. I'll, I'll, I'll use I'm, mag boots. Okay. I lied. I'm not going to use mag boots. You're use free fall. Yeah. The belt yeah, like yo. Yeah. Mag boots are for suckers. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're not real. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so the you guys open up the uh, the cargo bay, no problem. Or this this kind of this, it's not the actual cargo bay. It's more of like a receipt bay kind of set, set up. Um, it opens up pretty well. You can see how big the ship is inside. That kind of full diameter of it. Um, it's definitely bigger than the uh, Sinclair setup. But um, yeah, you're uh, you guys are in in the ship now um you can see there's um you guys want to orient yourself so that, like like everything's up and down i'm guessing the the martians are more interested in that than the belters yes i'm apathetic yeah it don't matter yeah. Yeah. um as you as as the door opens uh there's like red emergency lighting on that's all it's kind of on just this like, kind of low glow uh wyatt you see a floating figure in the room oh. does it seem to be floating our way or is it just kind of just floating there um, it looks like it's actually standing. Um, it kind of has the outline of a vac suit. Uh, and it's just kind of standing there, uh, looking your direction, but you can't see its face unless you want to pull lights up or something like that. Yeah, we have lights on our yeah, helmets. Yeah, your helmets, yeah, you can, you can do a little. Yeah, I'm going to put it right on the on the figure. Um, you see what this looks to be like a vac suit. Uh, it's a pretty basic standard vac suit, nothing too fancy. Um, but the this one, though, the whole face mask is mashed out and whatever was a helmet and a face is like just kind of the outline of them now like it's just completely smashed in there's like blood and such and or um you're not and honestly you, you can't tell how long they've been dead because they don't rot in space yeah and he is now holding <laughs> yes, do we uh, have video feed uh, on our suits for them to see back at yeah you can, yeah you can yeah we can do like aliens dude no problem yeah That's you seen this there. Yeah, so you have Myrtle's running off, so you can see everyone's thing on, on there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, Myrtle. So we got a floater. Um, I'm going to go in and kind of scan the room. I'll have my rifle up just in case, but I'm not going to have my finger on the trigger. Um, you can see where the, uh, like, there's, like, these kind of docking uh, setups on the air so that they actually bring a ship and bring it up to directly bring cargo without an umbilical. Uh, there's a, there's an airlock on each side. Both the other one does seem to have an atmosphere. It seems like it's actually like intact. Um, you see the the corpse is staying there. There's a few like uh, crates around, but it looks like they're mostly just like crates like food stuff. Like you just uh, this is the uppermost cargo bay, if you will, or mo most like the basics of not really what they're hauling, just their their own supplies. 
Um, there's no like weapon crates or anything like that too. It's mostly just food and like repair parts and stuff like that for the ship. I don't think it's a bad idea to eventually take this, but just keep keep searching. Is there a name on the on the floating suit? It was Big Michael. No, <laughs> that'd be weird. We, were all <laughs> we left them the on the time. ship. Yeah. Um, yeah. You go up to the name. Uh, you want to? You walk up to a waxer and kind of move the arm around to check yes. it out. Uh, it comes up with the name uh, Seaborn. Seaborn. Okay. Uh, I'll just make sure Myrtle sees it if you want. If you want to run this name, see who they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will definitely do that. You were not provided a crew manifest, so you don't know who was on board this ship, honestly. Okay, I'll just take notes. Yeah, I'll, I'll rip the like name tag off or whatever and just take it with me. All right. Um, so you guys have up, you guys have down. Uh, up goes to ops, the crew quarters, stuff like that. Down will go through more cargo base and eventually to engineering. I say we go up first. If there's electricity, I think up is the way to go because ops, we can get most of the information we need there. Yeah. And if there's the crew quarters up there, if there's maybe a survivor up there or something, I don't see how, but we could help them before we start pillaging. Yeah. All right. Good plan. Um, do do our Martian friends want to take, do they want to use the ladder with the mag boots or do they want to uh, float like the belters? I am going to f- use the mag boots. All right, you can see, you use the ladder. <laughs> Um, you know, it's it, this is weird for you, Waxer and Zenny, because it's like watching like someone who you thought was kind of a badass, like he's training wheels <laughs> on a bike. Yeah. You know, and this guy's the XO. Yeah. Oh man. XO. I mean, we were there when he was voted to be XO, so like yeah. we know he know. wasn't. Now he is. So right, like... Waxer, you're, you're like, ah, I better not tell my Michaels about this. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're glad we didn't bring McMichaels. Yeah. Um, you see this? He loses yeah. shit. I'm um, kind of like curious. I've I've fallen doing this before and it's not fun i've been <laughs> shot i really don't want to end up dead on this ship fair enough it's, uh, it's fair okay enough. xo you don't gotta explain to me <laughs> all right um go on up uh uh and i assume i assume you're going first wyatt yes who's going second i might ask, i'm asking i'll float up second right, wax or third uh, rifle then he's in the back all right Perfect. Yeah, Zenny will just like gesture yeah. towards the doctor. Um, you come up, you yeah, come thank up, you. Poke your head up above this place with your rifle ready, um, doing your military training, and you come into the galley. Uh, it's actually a pretty sizable galley. The, it looks like this whole section of the ship is the galley. Um, and it can seat like, it can seat like almost three times as many people as your ship can seat for a single meal. Um, it actually has a pretty nice gallery setup. Uh, this room's actually well intact, honestly, and you don't. Um, uh, there's no bodies or anything like that too, uh, but you can see like a few mugs here and they're floating, like where they kind of like just floated off the like you know random things kind of floating in this air, but not a lot of it. It isn't like there was like, like wreckage in here alone. Like, there was a fight or on flicker. So it's the red sp- lights kind of glow, yeah. yeah. I'll just scan the room quickly and then move on to yeah. the next. Going on up. Uh, next up, you come to what like this. This area comes up in, in unlike the last floor where the where it was just the whole thing was one giant room. This one comes up into a hallway. Um, you can see it goes up to Oscar, pretty sure. But the next um, uh, this next way, you can see that there's a pair of crash couches at the end of this hallway, along with two doors in front of you and two doors in behind you. I'm gonna. Before I go fully up into that, I'll look at Waxer since he's behind me and be like, you watch my back on that door, I'll watch the front just to be on the safe side. Yeah, give him the, uh, the nod, yeah. the hand signal. Visual hand signal, yeah. So you guys kind of come on up, no problem along the ladder. It's pretty easy. Um, scanning the stuff. The doors are all sealed up. Uh, they're closed. Uh, you can see the crash couches are, look like they're emergency crash couches. You're guessing this is probably the like, crew quarters of some sort. But um, do you want to continue up to ops, or do you want to try to check the crew? I want to check crew quarters. All right. One one way is as good as another. Uh, I uh, start checking in one direction. Uh, left or right door? Left. Left. All right. Uh, the door opens up under the. It has it has its own battery backup power. It opens up. Um, ahead of it, you can see where there's like the head. You can like where there's like a, a bathroom set up. 
Uh, to the right, you can see there's a crew quarter. To the left, you can see another crew quarter. Um, and then further to the left, you can see there's like a shower set up along with like more crew. Pretty nice, actually, uh, bunk set up, honestly. Uh, this could probably sleep something like um, eight people at least. Uncomfortably. I'll search through and see if I see anybody or anything that's of interest. Okay. Uh, give me a um, seeing test. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Um, you you look around and you start seeing that like there's a few bodies like still in the beds like strapped in like like they're for uh like they're sleeping in there with the the gravity changes and stuff like that too. Um, and you can see that on a few of them there's like floating blood pellets in the air. It looks like they were killed in their sleep. Oh. Well, uh... Relay that to everybody that's not with me right now. Okay. Uh, Myrtle, you I see know, this. I like, know. Captain can see it. So. Yeah, you see like at least two bodies in beds, like um, bleeding. You can't tell what the wounds are because there's like all the crap still. It just it kind of puddles around it. Right, right, right. But uh, definitely uh, punctured. Like they've been stabbed? I mean, could be. If you want to go over there and get a better look, you're welcome to. Or order your XO to do it. Yeah. Why? Could you tell me a little bit more about like the injury that that they've got here? Is this like, did they get smashed or stabbed? I'll, go, I'll walk up as close to that. Yeah. All right. You walk up to it, and uh, you can see like the blood's pretty pulled up pretty heavily. Uh, as far as the wound goes, you'd have to actually clear the blood out from that area. You could use your hand. You could try to like use air. You could uh, like you could bleed some air off of your uh, system real quick to. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. I'll just kind of blow it away. It kind of cleans it out, and it, the blood starts kind of coming out again. But you can see what looks to be, uh, you're pretty sure, like uh, a bullet wound through the side of the head. Pretty clean yeah. shot. But it's going to explain why there's bullet holes going out, possibly. But it isn't like a full fire shot, too. It's like there's like a single shot through the head. There's no like bullet holes behind it or anything like that, too. We'll uh, tell everybody just to be on... Just be on more high alert. Just in case. So while, he's, so, yeah, while so, he's, so while he's there, I want to start making my way up into ops. Just uh, load up there. Or give me a give me a perception scene test real quick. Um, okay. Sneaky sneaky. <laughs> Not like right. sneaky sneaky. Yeah. Okay, well, Mar, you notice like, then he kind of breaks off going. the group and starts going up the. Uh, yeah, I'm just going. The next he's the just... next level. Sure. Uh, Waxer is still in this central area, right? Uh, he's at the door looking, it's watching uh, uh, Wyatt's back. Yeah, in that case, I'll just uh, get Waxer's attention for two seconds and just be like, uh, we're going to keep moving up to Ops, catch up with y'all in a sec, and I'm just going to follow okay. in the same direction as any. I right, uh, give uh, Wyatt this, like, signal. Yeah, they, like, suddenly went up kind of quickly. They went up quickly. Yeah, we should I'll, go. Uh, I'll kind of look around the room real quick and be like, "All right, we can." Yeah, you see another. You see, you end up seeing a total of uh, six corpses in the room, uh, in the in, uh, all of which are in the beds. So seven total people, right? Okay. Yeah. This thing's crew's like twenty-four though, so it's a pretty big okay. crew that can handle everything. Yeah. That's six of however, or seven of so seven many. Of, seven of twenty-four-ish, if it's yeah. at max. It's a lot. I had, it looked, like some, somebody be years. shooting everybody up. All right. Uh, Zenny, you come up to ops. Yeah. Um, when I get up there, like the closer I get to it, I do want to be a little bit less conspicuous when I get to ops. Give me a because... stealth. Give me a stealth check. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give you an extra. I'll give you. I'll give you an extra plus two on this because you're free falling. You're you're in free like you're not touching anything. Cool. Your belter. <laughs> well, I got three fives, so that's really neat. Oh. Um, plus uh, to, you see, you gave me an extra plus two. Yeah, so you're, you're good. Um, Trust me, you made a, you made a very good one. <laughs> you, you, you float up into the you float up into the ops uh, area very like quietly with your your stuff drawn. And you can see what looks to be um, 
the operations deck's no problem. You can see there's like four crash couches in here. There's one that's like a main captain's chair type situation with a big screen. There's the other three chairs for the operations. You can see up above there's a pilot's uh, deck as well. Um, give me a, a perception scene test. And I'm gonna give you, I'll, I'll give you, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this one. This is your, this is gonna be your uh, stunt point basically bonus thing here because you're awesome. Okay. Oh, look at that. I love being awesome. Um, I have, oh God. Oh, that's it, that's a fail. All right, good night, folks. No, no, don't, don't look at me. Or we threw the game away. <laughs> I did not, I threw it on the ground, I'm done. All right, um, could I make an argument for searching or is this just, just using my eye? This is looking in your eyes. Searching for me okay. is more if you actually look, know what you're looking for. That's fine. Okay, um, 14 and then whatever bonus you said. Give me extra, I'll give me extra plus two on this one. Um, you see in the, what's weird in the corner is there's like a floating disc in the corner of the room. Like everything else is kind of strapped down like you would on a, on a ship and, the, and like the people were all strapped in. There's like a floating disc in the corner, uh, probably about like a meter in diameter, just kind of sitting there uh, like perpendicular. It's not flat like this, it's perpendicular to the floor. What was this? Like a giant disc, like probably about this thick and then about a meter wide. Have I seen anything like that before? Uh, give me a intelligence engineering test. You know who would have seen something like this before is Mar. <laughs> but he didn't go first. Yeah, well... <laughs> uh, 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 12. Well, you have no idea what the hell is this. It looks weird. Yeah. Okay, um... And it looks out of place, I, like it doesn't match, like it doesn't match the motif. It's out yeah. of place. Um, but I don't see any uh, figures dead or alive currently. In here, no. Okay, I will. Um, I'll float my way up and then like look down and like motion for for Marv to get up here. Yeah, I'm floating up. All right, Marv, you start floating up as any. As... I will as, okay. as 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 you like poke like you <laughs> go for your head up through the the bottom. I like point you to this thing and say so as this happens marv you kind of start floating your head up uh then he's like like you know come on up um and pointing to it then he starts floating in the middle of the room um then he, when you look back at the thing several little lights come on it including like a flashlight in your eyes and marv you get a quick you quickly identify what this is it's a martian combat drone <laughs> and it fires at zenny <laughs> Oh, uh, I would like to turn my mag boots on as a reaction so that I am stable for something. Wrong game. But you can... <laughs> All right. Zenny, it fires at you. It got a Hi. 17 to hit. Uh, it, oh. it, the shot, you guys don't, you don't even hear the shot. You just hear, all you, all you hear is Zenny is as the, the, the bullet rips through, uh, rips through your uh, back suit. Uh, you take, the way this works in the, in the combat is you have like an armor rating and you have a toughness rating. Whatever number I tell you, you subtract that, and that's how much fortune you lose, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, it dealt to you a whopping uh, 14 damage. Okay. So take that off your, so whatever yeah. you have like a toughness armor rating on the sheet, subtract that I from the 14. Toughness? You assume you should, you I have, have You give up, give up plus one because you're in a back suit. So. Okay, armor. cool. That gives my toughness to three, apparently. So then you'll take, you'll lose 11 fortune. So a shot rips out at you. It does not actually puncture your suit, but like you can feel an impact on like some of the systems on the sh on the suit, um, uh -huh. holding it off. Uh, this does the is... impact send me flying because I am in fact? Yes, you start pushing falling. to the other side of the room. So Marv, you Amazing. see this going on the other side of the room. Um, Waxer <laughs> and uh, Wyatt, the only sign of the violence you hear is over the comms of Zenny screaming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she'd be screaming, but there is definitely like a loud, oh. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. just like heavy that. impact on the wall. You hear, yeah, you hear a distinct thud come out of uh, Zenny's comp. Everybody uh, here, uh, Myrtle included, actually, can you guys roll initiative? So this is just a straight dexterity check unless you have initiative. Oh my god, Pelota. Ay, 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 ay. All right, let's go through. Myrtle, what'd you get? Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, we got 15 for, 
fertile. Okay. What uh what'd you get, Vinny? Uh thirteen. Hey. Uh Wyatt? Seventeen. You missed it, didn't you? I did. <laughs> okay. Uh Waxer? I got an eight. <laughs> wow. And Marv? Eleven. Eleven, okay. I like that. That's not too good. Okay. Top of the initiative, Wyatt. You you hear one of your crew members uh kind of panic and something's going on up north. You can feel it through your mag boots like a vibration uh through the ship that you haven't really felt before. Uh what do you want to do? As, uh I'll start running well, going as fast as I can to get up there to where she's at, but I'm also be asking what is going on. Okay. Uh, you start moving up. Uh currently you get to the you get out of the room and up to the ladder, and you are basically on the ladder. That's gonna be your turn for you. Uh, next up, the drone. Uh, the drone uh, <laughs> fires again at Venny. Great. Great. Venny, you got a 17 to hit you. Gonna, cool. gonna hurt. Oh, oh, it sure is. I, so I don't have a lot. So the first shot kind of threw you off and kind of spun you around a little bit. The second shot, uh, because you're now more free floating, it seems to like uh, be a little more on target. It'll be. Uh, that'll be. 19. So subtract the three, so that's 16 more damage from your fortune. Okay. We got a doctor with us. <laughs> I got, um, <laughs> Not that kind of doctor. doctor right? <laughs> I know. I, I got a medic expert. So uh, he's got PhD there. in English. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, the second shot, I think you should still have fortune left, but you're probably not feeling too good. Yeah, I got four. Four left. Oh, that's good enough. Um, that's good. That's, that's good, good enough. enough. Hey, that's hey, good enough. Hey, he says. Honest, honest is taking it worse. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're really explosive to blow the door. All right. Um, <laughs> next up is Myrtle. Myrtle, you're on the ship, and you kind of you kind of see through Zenny this this combat drone, Martian combat drone, firing at her uh, with a pretty good heavy with a pretty good rifle uh, thrower at her. Um, do you have anything you want to do on the ship? Um. Yeah, I'd like to at least um, be ready to take off. So I'm gonna um, um, get the get the okay. ship ready, okay. no just problem. in case that I, there's like we can get them out and like back I'm off. Gonna, I'm gonna let you make a leadership test here. Okay. And if you can if you can use it to produce stunt points, you will provide uh, stunt points to you can provide stunt points to freely use for your crew this next round. Okay. Fifteen. Uh, <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. Did you get any stunt points? I did not. Can you pr uh, push a roll? Oh, how would you get the drama die? One. One. Okay. Why don't you push that I'll, to a two? I will portion. pay it. Okay. Yep. Uh, pay it. You give uh, Zenny. You get back. You hear uh, Myrtle kind of uh, pushing orders through, and it feels a little better. You feel a little bit better about it. Uh, you get back two fortune. Sweet, that six fortune is gonna be great. Trust me, every 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 bit helps. Uh, goes bit. to uh, Zenny. Zenny, you're kind of free floating there. Uh, you can you can easily grab the walls or try putting your back boots awesome. to try maneuvering. Uh, you go to pull your gun. I'm not putting back boots on. What the hell? No. Um. Okay. So I would like to uh pull myself over to at the very least behind like the biggest chair that I can find to have some kind of cover okay. if there's like a terminal or something I can get behind yeah, there's, I, like, there's, like a, there's a there. crash counter you can get behind it really easily yeah okay. yeah um and then yes I will I want to pull out my my gun and I would okay. like to try to be moving in the cover and pulling your weapon okay yeah yeah so you go yeah. and you get you take you take a better position yeah. no problem um yeah. and it, like you hear me like kind of like ragged breathing being like there's a uh there, uh, there's a, there, uh, it shoot, shot me. <laughs> they know. That's what you hear. Um, okay. Marv, uh, you're there kind of out of the, uh, the rabbit hole here, watching this mm -hmm. thing, uh, start to fire maneuvering thrusters, trying to, like, get a better position on Zenny. Uh, it seems to be targeting her primarily because she's the bigger target. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, so, I mean, you, I'm familiar with this sort of, uh, uh, drone. Mm -hmm. Um, would I know of any immediate weaknesses or, um, like, uh, is there a, a switch on the back that I just have to reach to flip to turn it off or, or is it not <laughs> the, that easy? The Martians build their stuff not to be turned off. So, uh, but okay. you could, you could certainly, um, I would actually give you a bonus on, uh, if you want to do an aim check on it, I would give you either a bonus on damage or a bonus on to hit, to hit with it. If yeah. You fire at I it. would like to, 
um, perhaps for my uh, minor action aim and then uh, sure. my major action fire. Okay. Just to be clear, that means you're not moving, which means you're still in the way of wax or, or wide from getting up here. Uh, yes, but I am free floating, so they should be able to okay. uh, push they around. should be able to oh. move past me without too much issue. Okay. Yeah, go All through right. your legs. Give me, give me the okay, uh, roll your attack roll with the the pistol, and you uh, will do. All right. Um, so that is it's a eleven to hit. Eleven to hit. That would miss. Uh, you need to get a fourteen to hit it. What was your lowest die roll? Like all the lows on the dots. Uh, oh, it was it was a one. So I I can spend fortune to make. Yeah, that, if you spend uh, four fortune, you can push it to a fourteen and hit. Let's do that. That yeah. seems like a good a there good go. choice. <laughs> you I'll hit it. Choice. Did you, did you yep, get any yep. doubles? Um, uh, with the four? No, oh, okay. no, unfortunately, no. All right. All right, you hit, so roll the damage with the weapon, and I'll give you an extra uh, plus one on the damage for this technology. Okay, all right, and so for the pistol, that's 2d6. Uh, okay, so that's uh, 13 plus your Number plus one, one so 14. Right. You you hit it, no problem. Uh, the shot uh, does seem to breach its armor, uh, it does not actually like you don't actually like stop it from uh, sure. it, but it takes a what we call a injury. Okay. So you have disrupted the system somewhat. You hit it kind of in the sensor area. So it's not going to be quite as accurate as it was last turn. Nice. Uh, we go to Waxor. All right, I'll free flow up, uh, pass the doctor through his legs or like okay. around him. Yeah, around him, no problem. And I will just uh, fire at this drone. Okay. You fire at him. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. That's uh. Sorry, my brain is slow today. Ten for fourteen. Fourteen. That hits. All right. Three. Three d six plus one. Oh gosh, that was terrible. Okay, so that is a five. <laughs> five total. That is not. Yeah, your your shot rings out and does not penetrate the armor. You go ping, and like uh, you don't even hear the ping. You just, you can see it just like going off the armor plates. Um, I, sh- I Marv, shake the gun. <laughs> Marv, you're like, you gotta hit it in the right location, man. Marv had the sweet touch. Um, okay, goes back around. Wyatt, uh, you come out, you can see that, that Waxor and um, Marv are floating in, like, in between the decks here, firing at the thing. Uh, you'd have to either try to push one of them into the room or pull one of them out to get past him, or you could try to watch the back or something like that, or whatever you want to do. I'm gonna pull the dock out of the way. And I'm gonna okay, go you pull the dock out of the way. Um, <laughs> That's that's your major action. Uh, you can start moving up the ladder if you want to. Yeah, can I, I'll just shut my mag boots off and float up. Yeah, yeah I'll give you a free fall chest. Let the dexterity test. See if you can do this. Probably you, not. No. Little, little did uh, Wyatt know the doctor was able to hit the drone. Yeah, yeah you got the most effective combatant. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes sense, you know. You're yeah. Pulling, yeah. I got double sixes, one on the or, or six on the drama die, so twenty. Uh-oh. Not a problem. Yeah, yeah, you managed to get right to the top there, no problem. Uh, and you're you're ready to go uh, next round. I'll give you. I'll let you use that to provide yourself like three points or four points of cover. You're you're good yep. to go. Okay, cool. Uh, next up, the drone. Uh, it, it looks back to the area where it was shot at, uh, which is now Waxor, and it fires at Waxor. Waxor, it fires and actually misses. Uh, you can see it. You can see the shot hits the deck uh, as a large uh, caliber round. Um, it begins trying to position itself around, trying to uh, use its maneuvering thrusters to get around to a better shot on Zenny. Um, Myrtle, uh, uh, start like uh, you want to feed them data and try to like look up information on this yeah, thing. Yeah, or, yeah. Okay. All right, give me a leadership test here. Uh, oh. uh, that's, that's fourteen. Good. Fourteen. Any doubles? No. If you, if you can push them to a double, you can generate stunt points. Uh, I can by one. Uh, okay. That gives me five stunt points. Okay. Uh, Zenny, you gain. Uh, Zenny, you get back three fortune, and then mm-hmm. uh, you can use other action to let um, next. Oh, uh, Zenny's next. Zenny, you'll get two attacks this next turn. Nice. Oh, you get a pop two that. shots off. Yeah, uh, okay. as as Myrtle's words. Well, you just shoot faster. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can twice. do die or whatever. Yeah. Do it. You um, can do it. Zenny, it's your turn. You have you, you're in position. Uh, with yeah. the with the cover here, barely holding it, uh, you can fire twice at the, the machine. Okay. Um. Now, what do I roll to? Uh, three. To... You roll the three six and add your right. pistol. Whatever. Your, uh, it should be on your attack bonus there and everything. 
don't have a lot of combat in this game, this guys. We don't have a lot of combat. Yeah, been a while. Been a while. Uh, yeah, I think we're like, uh, yeah. Uh, 15? That hits? Okay. Roll the damage. Any doubles on that? Excellent. Uh, no, but okay. I could make it doubles, though. You wanna make it doubles? Okay. I would. I have a, f uh, let's see. Well, hmm, hmm. Mm, yes, I can. I, I will. No, I won't. No, I won't. I lied. No, I won't. I have please. no fortune. <laughs> roll, roll, uh, roll the uh, damage then. Uh, 11. 11, okay. You do penetrate the armor. Uh, you have, in this sense, uh, actually uh, given it a second injury. Um, I should mention, too, uh, robots in the game or drones don't have fortune. They, just have, they just take wounds. Um, but yeah, your your, sec your shot does ring out and uh, strike it around the area where Marv hit it. Not quite as well, but you do hit it. Uh, give me cool. another, uh, get one more shot. Your lightning attack here. Awesome. I uh, I, I clock that shot. And I'm like, all right, I'll follow that up. Ooh, maybe. Um, uh, Twelve. Twelve will not hit. You would need to get a 14 to hit. Do you want to push the die roll up? Well, my lowest is a three. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Um, that's actually really expensive. Then that's gonna be like that's, six. That's gonna be six points to hit. Yeah. Yeah, I would, and I only have nine. So I wouldn't not, do it. Yeah. I'm all right. All right. Cool. So yeah, you go ahead and, and you you uh you just hold your cover while you stand there. Okay. Goes to Marv. Marv, you're watching Zenny fight this fight for her life. Are you? You can hear her fighting up there or feel it through the boots. Uh, the the other crew members have taken your spots. Uh, or taking your spot. What do you want to do? Um. Perhaps what I can be most helpful with is uh, uh, just kind of call out, aim for the weak spots. You're going to look for, like, and I'll just describe the specific things that they need to be hitting. Um, give, me in order a, to give, me a, uh, give me an engineering test real quick, and if you can generate yeah. stuff points, you can provide stuff points to the other, the other crew members for the mm. round. Yeah, gladly. Um, uh, what do you know? So that is uh, <laughs> nice. That is uh, twelve uh, with six stunt points. Okay, Jeez, uh, let's so go. The rest of the crew go before um, though they're on the ship there with uh, Marv. You have six stunt points to spend throughout it. Uh, then you can spend them right now if you want to get some fortune back. Three of them. Um, you're, you're gonna die. <laughs> I I will. Okay, spend three. So three of them is spent. You get three back. You get three fortune back. Uh, let's go to Waxor. Waxor, you're standing there with your rifle. Uh, you okay. got three more. You got three points in a blow. Um, you can actually try to do a lightning attack or try to get like the high the high impact shot on it. But just take your take your roll and see. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna aim because the doctor okay. is giving me a way to hit it. So that gives me an extra plus one. So it's gonna be plus five. Okay. Nice. All right. Oh my god. I'm gonna use fortune on this. Okay. So my lowest. So I got an 11. My lowest is a one. I'm going to push it to uh, 14. So that uses okay. three. Okay. Any doubles? Uh, if I push that to a three, it'll make it a double. Cool. What do you got? How many stuff points you got? Um, oh, um, three. Cool. Um, plus, the, plus the other three. So if you want to, if you want to pull the vicious blow on it, you can, where you get an extra 2d6 damage. I mean, 5d6 damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah, let's do that. 5d6. Yeah, I mean, damage. you can nail that Take son of a bitch pretty hard. 5d6 plus one. First, oh, that's a good roll. Okay, so <laughs> I love, I love uh, uh, Michael's commentary on a dice. <laughs> <laughs> play by play. Uh, 14, uh, sorry, eighteen and a six, so twenty-four. Yeah, um, yeah, my brain. Just, yeah, your shot rings out right through where they keep on hitting it, and you see the shot come out the other side of it. Uh, it looks like they hit the ammo inside of it, and you can kind of see it like spark and explode. Um, you can see the thrust on it, and it kind of sits there. It's kind of floating in a, in a free spin, standing there, sweet, uh, very slowly as Waxer gets the killing shot on it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, thanks, Doc. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? I'm gonna go straight over to Zenny. Yeah, I'm Zenny. gonna see if she has any wounds because I got the med. med Zenny, Zenny's armor was not punctured, but you can see there's some damage on some of the sensors on it, and like one of the lights is bursted out and everything like that too. But uh, I mean, she's of course aware, but. Okay, still standing strong. <laughs> and what's her breathing oxygen? a little like? What's her oxygen? Oxygen's fine. Okay. I mean, she, you can tell that her breathing went a little aggravated, so she burned through maybe like five minutes of oxygen in thirty seconds. But like, okay. it's not, not bad. So we're good. Okay. I tell the I yell out clear, so the doctor also can come on up and okay. check it out. Yeah. Can you tell? Can you tell, doctor, if this thing is just uh, malfunctioning, running on, or is it's been operated? Uh, well, uh, let me take a look at it and see if I can't go run some uh, diagnostics on that sucker. Is oh, it's dead. Okay? It's, oh, it's, yeah, you go to try sure. to, yeah, it's not functional at all right now. Like, you guys mm. trashed it pretty bad and there was an internal explosion. 
Uh, it okay, is, so uh, it is, I can't get any data out of it. I can't uh, like go. I mean, unless you want to like uh, you memory core or something. Uh, you could take a memory core out of it and take it back to a lab. Sure. Well, uh, I'll, I'll grab it. May as yeah. well It'll take a minute, and then I'll have that. It is. It is a uh, an MCR in uh, combat drone. It's used for boarding actions. Um, sure. preliminary boarding actions. Uh, you and do it, know one thing about them. You do know is that they usually don't come by themselves, and they talk to each other. Uh, okay. Okay. Sure. So um, I'll take a second. So uh, typically, uh, there's more than just one of these uh, if they board a ship. Now, also typically, right? They don't leave them on the ship when they're done. But you know, we, this is typical Martian make. I actually uh, help design uh, uh, the newer version of this one. This one's a little outdated, but um, you design one packs of these a punch. Hey, uh, this is the same thing, making the holes outside the ship? There's a solid chance. I mean, I can't say for certain until we look at it and see what exactly the situation is there, but, uh, you know, any any projectile moving fast enough towards the hull of the ship could do that. And this thing, you think of killing that one suit we see and then all the other dead crew members this thing? Uh, it's very likely, uh, and I would not be surprised if there's at least one more uh, here somewhere on, on the ship. Oh, I hear that all kind of. Is there a way to shut the door that we came? Yeah, up? you guys, you guys can shut that door. I'll shut it. Just another. So you guys are all up in ops right now. You can and you can see the. Uh, there is no door between ops and the pilot's deck, but uh, easily see it there. Sure. Uh, do you, do you think that this is something they salvaged, or there was a crew that came on? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Um, yeah. I suppose perhaps uh, the best way to find that out would be to uh, look here at the manifest. Yeah. Uh, you go and pull it off real quick. Um, Marvin, you can start looking through it real quick and see the salvage, stuff like that. Uh, this is not the kind of operation where you record what you salvage. Um, there are cargo containers listed, but it, what's inside of them is not listed. It actually okay. looks like um, they were at the point. Actually, uh, Danny, you're just right, really. Give me like an investigation searching check or something like that, because this is. Oh like, my god, I can do that. This is what you. This is what your job <laughs> this used to be. Actually, this is literally actually. my job, not to get <laughs> shot at by robots. Uh, <laughs> I want to get shot at robots in space. Uh, hey, Josh. Hey, hey, thanks for playing, man. We're having a fun time, dude. Yeah. Right. Oh, you're so fine. Uh, fourteen is what I got. It looks like, based on what you're going through with like the cargo stuff, they were actually starting to take inventory. Last, like, it was the last kind of entries. They were taking inventory in, uh, yeah. So, like, it just started recently? No, like, the last, the last known action on the ship was taking inventory. Oh. Of the salvage. And then, okay. yeah. Um. Something changed. <laughs> I wonder what could, okay. Um, so no specifics about, like, not uh, what they found. They, like it was just saying that like they salvaged some stuff. It was like uh, incoming salvage cargo uh, crates and everything like that too. Um, okay. There is like a there is a label on one of the crates that they were scanning. If you want to take a look at that one. Yes. Okay. You pull it up, Barb. You're looking over Zenny's shoulder and you see this number. This is like a military uh, Martian crate. Like this is like uh, not something you just kind of play around with. Whatever was in that crate was dangerous. You're, you're having a pretty good idea of what was in the crate. Yeah, I think that might. Uh be be the breach in charge, so to speak. Is there enough power on this system to fire up any cameras that might be in here? Uh, yeah, you could you could probably you could turn them on a little bit here and try to scan the ship a little bit. Yeah, I'd like to definitely where we haven't been. That's, that's um about it. you go to get into the security system of the ship and the ship is currently in like a lockdown setup. Um, you guys can access the cargo stuff, not really a thing, but the systems the operations of the ship are currently like locked. It looks like um, uh, you're not really sure why it's locked, if someone locked it or if it was locked. Uh, Marv, you know these drones can inject like codes into a ship to basically make the ship inoperable while they take over. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, it's possible that the uh, drone has somehow managed to kind of override some of the security protocols. Um, that, it, well, in the fact that it's here, that seems very likely. Um, we need to continue looking, but keep our eyes peeled for another drone if there's 
possibly want to do. I agree. I'm, a, I agree. I'm gonna stay by, behind you though, pointing to Wyatt. <laughs> oh, Alright, works for me. Yeah. Do you do a full sweep back there on that last level, or do we still need to swing through a couple of those rooms? Uh, we didn't see you, you, you guys only covered half of the of the uh, crew quarter. You didn't check yeah, out the other. It was like the two. The two. Yeah, it's, it's split mm-hmm. two. Yeah, let's go check the other. <laughs> yeah. Move back down. All right. You come back down to the. You open up the door. Open up the. Uh, you can see where the crew quarter hallway is. Uh, you can. Uh, do you want to check the other crew quarters? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Why you you uh, you take a point on this? You go through, and um, the door opens up, and you can see uh, in this room. There's a few bodies in, in the in the crash couches, but not nearly as many. Um, but this room seems to have a lot more stuff kind of floating around in it. Like uh, there's more like there's like some like uh, loose items. There's like a, a a flight suit floating in it, like just kind of crumpled up. Uh, there's some just kind of a little more random stuff in here. Do I? St- I don't see like a drone though. That's getting ready to shoot. Uh, no, <laughs> I mean, they're, no, they're pretty damn big. Like you're, you would you would spot yeah. it pretty quick. Um, but you, yeah, you don't see any, any drones in here, uh, or the like. Right, and are you back on mag boots? Yeah, I'm back on mag boots. All right. All right. I say, well, let's just okay. keep going down. Um, right when you right when you start turning, the uh, one of the lockers opens up, and you have a pistol in your face. Just put my hands up. And you you can see what looks to be someone in a vac suit holding a pistol, like shaking. Um, and around them, you can see like various loose floating air bottles. Like, uh, not here to hurt you, just here to help you. Okay. They, and they're they're like they're looking at you, and like they're they're not on the same comm channel as you. Uh, you want to swap? You can swap it over. You can just swap it over your suit. Tell it to do it. Yeah, I'll do that. They go, uh, uh, who are you? Who who are you? (laughs) We we just came across your ship. Seen some holes on the side. Figured we'd see what was in here. They're looking around. They're they're looking and they can see the bodies and everything. And uh, they see the lights behind you. They go, they go, (laughs) they're like freaking out. Like they're, they're, you can tell they're kind of cold too. Um, They're kind of shaking. You're not sure that they might even be hypoxic. Mm-hmm. Like, listen, we got a doc. We got a guy back here that can actually uh, maybe look at you. And I'll kind of, I'm gonna come on, wave him in here. Okay. Don't shoot him. He's really big. And I'll be like, oh, you see uh, this signal for waxer. You see this belter in a in a suit. Like, they they don't put the gun down. They keep the gun towards the door, and they're like, you can hear him say, they're gonna come back. They're 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 gonna come back. We'll be back. Like, just just not him. Okay. And they're kind of waxer coming in. And they they have the gun up still. They're shaking. Like. Yeah, give him the like. Calm down, it's okay. I'm gonna check. I'm check your suit. Give me a, give me a, a communication, uh, empathy test, or persuasion. Your check, your choice. It won't matter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, that's what I can. That's my skill set. Listen, the two uh, things that we can uh, okay. do. Okay, I got a eight. <laughs> they're, they're like, they're, they're kind of freaking out. Uh, Zenny, you, you've had, you've had uh, victim empathy I've, training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might be better for you. Yeah, uh, kind of. I, I imagine that Zenny was like a little bit out to not get shot again, um, and kind of seeing the vibe off of these two, maybe not being able to see into the locker itself, but guessing that oh, they're probably dealing with a, a living thing and not a robot thing. You can hear him talking, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Then uh, then yeah, she would go over. Uh, Give me a, and give just me like a... pat pat waxer like <laughs> excuse yeah. me oh yeah and yeah, kind of yeah. try to do the the same thing yeah. give me a communication empathy or give me a perception empathy or communication persuasion your choice we're gonna do empathy baby uh excellent um of so note, i have hmm? just of note while it's happening i'm still keeping an eye on where we haven't gone yet in the yeah ship. but you guys have that that door sealed up and everything too no problem um, as an aside, I have the observation talent, which means if I fail this roll, I can re-roll it, but I have to take the second yeah. roll. Well, wow, that's like a billion. Okay, no problem. Uh, so that's you like I, I got four okay. stun points too, so that's cool. Right. So you get back three. You get back three fortune. Uh, it feels oh, kind of calming to, to be around another belter. Um, they kind of calm down and they kind of put the gun down. This is my zone. This right here, they're, I can handle this. <laughs> they they kind of motion for you to come closer, and they they turn off their calm. Like they want to do the helmet to mm-hmm. helmet talk, and they're like, yeah. They'll pick up on the radio signals. They'll find us now. 
You guys are too loud. I'll like look. I'll kind of like turn a little bit back towards everyone else and just kind of give like a it's okay. And I'll 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 cut mine for uh for a second. Okay. Was it was it just those those robots? We we they're like we we found some salvage. We 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 hit up a, a Martian ship and started bringing over whatever they had. And then when we started counting and they those those things broke out and they started taking over the ship and killed they killed everyone. Okay, uh, you're, you're still here though. You're yeah, here, I, I've here. been here. For, I, I've been in that locker for two weeks, and you can see all the air bottles in the locker. Like they've been like breathing slow, and you can see there's like um, uh, sedative drugs and everything in there. Mm-hmm. Like they were like trying to slow themselves down, trying to hibernate in that place. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many did you see? I think there's. There's got to be, got to be at least like four of them. Okay. Well, there's there's three now. So that's good. Uh, was there just uh, just the one crate that you got uh, with them? No, it was. It, they, yeah, they, there was one crate with them in there, and then but we brought over a bunch of Martian stuff. It was, yeah, yeah, you guys have a ship. Let's get out of here. We, there's nothing here for us anymore. Well, uh, there there might be. There might be more people like you who uh, still still living. So yeah, they're all dead. I tried. I tried on the comms, and I stopped. They're all dead. Well, I mean, your ship is your ship is dead. Your ship doesn't have any any power, so it's okay. It's okay. We, no, they we, just, they just, those things you, just you, turn you, off the reactor. They, we could probably kick it back on, but like, we gotta we gotta get out of here. We gotta leave this thing. Okay, Thank well, you. we'll we'll see what we'll see what we can. We'll, we're not gonna leave you here. We're not gonna do that. Okay. Uh, she like looks at her pistol and like holding her pistol kind of tight. All right. Can I have that. We'll like, take care of you. I'm gonna put like, you right next to him, and I'm gonna point towards Wyatt. It's right, a just, good shot. He's also a good shot, and I'll point to the doctor. Like, just <laughs> get me to your ship. Just get me out of here. Yeah, we'll be okay. Can, uh, I Can just want to make sure that we don't get any extra holes. What were you saying, Wyatt? I'm just going to hold the... Can I attach my oxygen to them to... Uh, yeah, you, you refill her oxygen. You drain about an hour of your oxygen off and bleed into her system and stuff. And you can see her. She starts calming down as the oxygen refreshes her. I'm going to be like, uh, we could use... Blinky to take her back to our ship. We continue on and see what else is here. But I'll let you guys have a vote on that too. I'm not going to put you guys in danger. And Myrtle, you're hearing all this. Right. Yeah, we got a, we got a medic on board so we can okay. be ready with blankets and food and whatnot. I have Mick but- Michaels to drive that Drone close yeah. to the key. You just latch onto that's a, that's a really easy way to do it. Uh, was I was I able to get the pistol from? from the- uh, you have to probably rustle it away. They're not going to give it up. Will? Can I do so in a gentle way? Sure. Give me a, give, give me a persuasion. <laughs> I, 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 me essentially, a pers- yeah. I just want to try to. Hell, this is going to be a hell of a persuasion check because, like, <laughs> yeah. like she's like this is freaked out. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh Go Akimbo. <laughs> uh okay. Is this Oh no, it's not great. It's uh what specifically am I rolling? Persuasion, uh communication persuasion. Communication. Well uh, it's only an eleven. Yeah, she didn't give it up. And you kind of understand where she's coming, but she's not. She doesn't know what wants to yeah. hurt any you guys. She's just like, right. I'm more uh, afraid that in the event of trying to, you know, defend yourself, she might not be a little in a good space to do that. But uh, I, I, right. you know, I back off. Well, her, well her folks, we, we hit we hit turn twenty. So Myrtle, Whoa. let's give you something to do. Roll a d twenty. Roll a d six for me. D twenty. I'll roll a D twenty. Twenty on the turn. All right, all right. Which which dice should I choose? Oh no. That one. Get the dark. That one. Okay, one D six. McMichael's got spaced. Six. (laughs) Six. Okay. Drax spaced by McMichael's. No. (laughs) Um. I would be very upset. (laughs) What is happening? Uh, Okay, yeah. Turn turn twenty happens. Minor effect. Uh, Oh my. Happened, oh, I'm sure. Oh, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's minor. Nothing happens. It's okay. fine. So you guys are okay. So uh, you have to go down through the through the galley and then get into that main kind of uh, 
loading bay to get her out of the airlock. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you want to go further down into a cargo bay. Uh, who's gonna, what are you guys gonna do? Quickest way, yeah. whatever yeah. the quickest route is. All right. Um, this is a liability at Wyatt, this point. Wyatt, you take, Wyatt takes point, you go through, uh, you open up the door into the galley, uh, scan the galley, you don't see any galley. The door below it is open though into a uh, loading bay. Yeah, I don't think we shut that door. No, you so. didn't shut that one. I'll kind of peek over or peek down and look into it. Uh, you give me a give me a uh, perception seeing test. See if you can see anything. Three threes. So twelve. Well, I mean, you're looking down there, and you can see straight or to the bottom of it where the. Uh, what's that? Eleven. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you don't see anything. The red lights glowing a little. There's like the, the, the emergency lighting's on still, and your your lights scan it. They don't see anything. I don't see nothing, but that don't mean there's nothing down there. Yeah. I'll go first though. Right. Are you gonna go through into the the loading bay or just into the galley? I'll go into the galley. Big step in the galley. Uh, who's going next? Waxar. Yeah. Yeah. Galley. Uh, Zenny. Uh, K. The 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 galley you rescued. She, she tells you her name is K. Uh, she's kind of following you. She seems to trust you the most. Okay. Dark. Um. Well, then I'll make sure that I'm like sandwiched ish between most everyone. So I'll go. I'll well. I'll put. I'll let her go, and then I'll go. Like. Except the galley, and she kind of looks around and everything. You can tell this was a nice place for her. Now it's fine. Uh, Marv, they have you in the rear. You, you want to keep on going? Yeah, of course. I'll follow up, and then just kind of as we're going through, I'll close doors behind us, okay. make sure that we're not leaving ourselves exposed. Um. Wyatt, you got point, man. They're letting you. They're letting you take the op on this. Keep moving forward. Uh, you come in through. Uh, you go in, and are you are you free falling? Or are you trying to use the mag boost ladder? I'm going to free fall to be more quiet. Give me a free fall chest. Yeah, there you go. As you push off the ladder into the into the uh, loading bay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, you get a nice clean movement. Uh, to uh, get your mag boots to, to tilt and uh, so you kind of have a tilt motion that you'll do it all in like have a nice little somersault uh, when it made your uh, basic training instructors proud. As you do, um, you notice uh, you notice a pair of flashes as you see on top of the, what, what is the ceiling of this room as you kind of come down, you can see a pair of the drones. Unlike, uh, the, you, saw, you saw some of a mechanism on the other one. These ones though, they have their legs deployed and actually have like clamped into the hull or the, the bulkheads and are like basically fucking turrets. And uh, they two, two shoot at you as you're uh, free falling oh. to the bottom. But here we go. Yikes. No. They got ambushed. Uh, I think that, that one's going to hit you. I don't think anyone's defense that high. Uh, Wyatt though, eh, okay, didn't do uh, It got you for 12 damage. The toughness of armor. Yeah, your armor's a one right now, so. You didn't grab the you didn't grab the, the armor you guys have. Right that. <laughs> um all right, and then the other one fires at you, Wyatt. The other one actually missed pretty bad. Okay. okay. Uh, you guys you guys hear Wyatt kind of grunt and you can you can feel the vibrations as these things because they are now mounted to the, the hull. Um you can feel the vibrations as they fire through it. Uh let me go ahead and uh we'll just use the same initiative. Uh that was good last time. And I'll add in our new friend K at the end. So Waxer doesn't feel like he's the last. <laughs> um, top of the initiative, Wyatt, you're standing there. You do, you did manage to land. You have your mag boots on. Uh, you, you're looking up. Um, there is like cover in this room. There are some crates you could probably try to grab behind. I'm gonna go to the cover first. Okay. You go and you run for cover. I can actually run and shoot at the same time. Can right, I do cool. that? Yeah. All right. So you take a running shot. Go for it. Yeah. Thirteen. Uh, you, you have to push it to fourteen to hit him. Yep, I'll do it. Uh, and then uh, damage. Twelve. Okay. Uh, yeah, your shot does penetrate the armor. Uh, you do cause a. Yeah, it, you hit you hit it, and you do cause uh, some of its stability to go off a little bit. So it's going to be a it takes an injury. Okay, I'm going to continue to run towards, as because I can run and shoot, I'll run towards cover. Okay, you get in cover, no problem. Cool. Um, 
Next up is the drones. Uh, the drones start firing at you as you're taking the cover. Uh, this will basically give you an additional um, uh, four toughness, basically, or armor. Okay. So, right, first one fires at you. Uh, that one will hit. It got you for a whopping uh, 12 damage. And then the other one fires at you. It actually misses. Wow. That one that one sucks, dude. That's the second one. So you're not supposed to not get shot no more, Wyatt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, to be fair, Zenny did like when you guys yeah. did hire Zenny told her, I'm tired of getting shot. Can someone else get shot? And she did. So <laughs> like, I did it. You know, she I is she her it. her job performance review will reflect that. Um okay. Uh Myrtle, you you hear on the comms, you can hear them fighting this thing these things again. Uh, I'll let you generate some leadership points if you want to. You got it. Well, did you, did you get any doubles? Uh, no, I did not. But I will spend another. F- three. I will go ahead and bump that up to a six. How many stun points of that? One, two, three, four, five, five. What'd you five. Five. Okay, so five, five points. Uh, then yeah. it's uh, your turn. Uh, you hear Myrtle trying to tell you guys to coordinate. You can see, you can see through the whole white like firing at the ceiling, um, off to the sides where these things are. You're guessing. Uh, what do you want to do? Not get shot. Not get shot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you want, if you want to use three of those uh, leadership points to uh, get three back, three portion, you're okay to do that. Um, I, I think I might just do that um, and like get uh, myself in if I can, K, just like away, because I don't want. Well, I mean, you guys are you guys are in this galley above this area. These things are firing down. They don't have any line of sight on you guys. They're kind of like waiting right. for you guys to come down. Um, right. Getting Kay away would basically be putting her behind like like a table and chairs in the galley if you want to. That's I, I kind of that's where my okay. priority right, cool. is right now, just right. to make sure that like even if it they they, they like, I don't calm. know if they can fly. I can know if they can float or whatever. So I'm just gonna like. Okay. All right. You put him in cover. Marv, uh, your turn. Uh, you're you're kind of watching uh, Wyatt take cover and trying to like make his way towards the airlock uh, as he's firing at these things. Yeah. Uh, so what I would like to do uh, is uh, try to engage my mag boots in such a way where I am able to just barely peek my head out and uh-huh. take a pot shot and then kind of pull back in. All right, you'll take. Uh, you're gonna take with like like a major cover and kind of take your shot. I'll let you do that. Okay, go for it. Uh, taking the cover will give you this kind of cover. Though will give you a penalty to hit. Have a minor. Have a penalty to hit though. Yeah, this would be a minus three to hit, but you have a lot of cover. Okay. Uh, minus three, so that's. Uh... Uh, a nine, so why yeah, you, don't I push that? Uh, I need to get to the 14, right? So I gotta take five? Yeah. All right, so I'll do that, and that'll hit. Uh, no stunt points. Uh, uh, you do have stunt points for Myrtle. You could you could actually do um, the extra D6 damage if you wanted to, so you could do three D6. Sure, right. sure, right. let's do that. Cool. Um, that's very good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, 15 points of damage. Ooh. Yeah. I shoot duck. Oh, yeah, you, you pop out, you kind of pick your shot, and you see the one that Wyatt was fighting, and you shoot at it, and uh, you catch it in a blind spot on the side, puncturing its battery compartment, and you see it kind of powered down. It's still attached, like it's still clamped on the thing, but you see it completely powered down up there. That one's down. You you no, like you like you got you got exactties on what you needed to to kill. <laughs> like, yeah, it's very know. precise. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. All, All right. right, and then I'll I'll just pull back out of the way so that Waxer can get but through. You're you still kind of be out there. You have cover, but you're, you're you have a lot okay, of cover, okay. so you're good. Perfect. Right. perfect. Uh, let's go to um, Waxor. All right. Uh, well, I mean, I know they're kind of automated. Would I be able to like because I have a stealth? I mean, would I be able to like free fall? But yeah. Try to get past it. Yeah. If you want to try to get to where uh, Wyatt is. Wyatt is, and then fire, yeah. So, um, stealth roll? Yeah. Plus five. Okay. Nine. Eleven. Uh, Sixteen. And a five on the drama. Sixteen. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, you um you start floating down there, and as you do, you see its gun tilt towards you. Okay. So oh you're, hello! You're you're going you're going down to get cover, uh, trying to be quiet, and uh, you do not get it. Uh, it is alert, but I'll let you take a okay. I'll take a shot. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot it. All right. Oh, okay. That's a uh, so I got plus four. Okay, eight, twelve, thirteen. I'm gonna push the the. I got a one, so I'll push it to a two. So oh. it's fourteen. Oh, good damage. All right. On plus three. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, 16, 17. I got two sixes Seven. on damage. Yeah. Wow, seventeen damage. Uh, Holy shit. Okay. Uh, good dice. Oh. Yeah, you iced it. Yes. You got, damn, you like you nailed that son of a bitch. Yeah, you, you, you pop a shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you pop a really nasty shot into it, and it it uh, stable it uh pretty heavily. Um, you guys Not are kind one. of you guys are there in the uh the loading dock. Chilling out as it would be. Uh, what do you want to? Um, what do you guys want to do? You just mm-hmm. K is like telling there's another one in here. There's more in here. Yeah, I'll tell everyone else. Uh, there might be one more, so just keep an eye out. Yeah, hey, sure. Um, I'd love to see if we can't get this ship up and running again, and potentially uh, get this on its way. But um, perhaps we can send K back to. Uh, you, you guys can see, um, you guys can see Blinky floating in the uh, outside the airlock. Uh, if you want to go and latch her on real quick. Yeah, I'll go there and do that. She gets latched on, she just stripped it off, no problem. Myrtle, you'll be there to attend that. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. Big Mike wants to pilot in, no problem. Okay. Uh, where do you guys, where do you guys want to head back down to engineering? Yeah, yeah. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, let's get this thing uh, turned off. Move it. Okay. All right. Um, Myrtle. Yes. Like Michael right. is like focusing on the, he's bringing the one drone back in, uh, bringing in K. Uh-oh. And uh, <laughs> you hear him go, holy fucking shit. And like, uh, yeah, you hear him like cuss. And he's like, what the hell was that? So this is what's kind of happening. So I'll just kind of give him a, a little short, you know. Yeah, um, no, he's been watching the situation, but he's saying what he's doing, something went wrong with what he's doing currently. Oh, what the hell? What what's up, man? He's like Sparky went offline. Sparky went offline? Yeah. Alright. Um You get blinky can you... you can have, you can have, you can pull the sensors on the ship and like look at the other ship or you can bring have Blinky like Blinky's kinda of busy right now, but <laughs> Please don't please don't please don't do that to this poor person. <laughs> Blinky's busy right now. Yeah, yeah so um <laughs> Okay, so um all right. Well, our first thing is, is we've got this person who needs medical help, and right. um, we'll so we need to get Jay, the medic, yeah, he involved starts, in here. He starts pulling up the uh, the optics on the ship, and he looks at, and you can see, he pulls up the screen and kind of uh, enhances it, uh, magnifies it. You can see um, Sparky, the repair drone that was doing the job, and there's another drone floating around it that it looks like it just shot the shit out of out of Sparky, oh. completely oh, crashed fuck. it. No, not we're too Sparky. close for PDCs, right? No, you can fire PDCs at point blank. Like pretty close, <laughs> close. You can fire PDCs easily. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do that to the, whatever the the one that just like took it offline. Okay. You cannot safely fire PDCs at it without hitting the ship, ship. they're okay. on right now. Especially because uh, if you remember, Sparky was repairing the areas around engineering. Mm. You you would there's a good chance you could all die. Like, like turn oh, to gas. Well, yeah, we don't want that then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like Last a plane out of yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're out. <laughs> Captain Murray. Yeah, finale, it's a pride. <laughs> like, yeah, I guess you're going to be the new XO. Yeah. Uh, like Michaels. No. Yeah. Like Michaels. Um, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, the PDC is not an option here. Right, that's okay. So we don't... Um, we don't have any kind we don't have anything else that can go out there i mean unless and, you want to tell like, michael to go out there with a rifle and try to fight it but like he he's not gonna do that shit. <laughs> yeah he's not gonna i don't okay, i don't really have anybody mean? else who's gonna yeah he'll get he'll get connie chewiwi on the phone and she'll be like no nah, that's not within the uh, contract. this contract no, <laughs> no 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 yeah and i can't put jury out there because what does a cook know and no. i mean drax maybe we can have drax, ain't, drax? drax not a combatant can't fight that yeah, stuff. It's so, just so, like, so you can tell, you can tell the away team there's a drone on the outside of the ship as well. Yeah. 
So, hey guys, this is what's happening. We've kind of lost Sparky um, because there's another drone outside. Uh, how many drones did you guys say that there were supposed to be around here? Uh, Maybe that was it. Four. What about what about the lady we were sending over? Is she still there? She actually makes it over, no problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah she's okay. she's going through the airlock Sweet. and everything, and your your crew's taking care of her. She'll be in the med bay, no problem. She's all right. Okay. Can, can we rig up uh, Blinky here to uh... fire? Blinky to, doesn't have uh, any yeah. weapons. Blinky yeah. is a surveillance drone. Yeah, just to get some optics. Oh yeah, Blinky can like yeah. You, your ship can pull it up, no problem. Um, okay. Yeah, you guys pull that. You can see the thing kind of. It's kind of on the engineering area. And you kind of see it go back into a uh, patrol route. Like, it's just kind of monitoring the area, like, walking around. It doesn't seem to really care about your ship. Like, it's not looking at the Sinclair at all. It doesn't seem to really care about that. It's just making sure nothing's fucking with the ship. Like, it seems to, like, be kind of okay. securing it. It's like right. it's on, like, pat a patrol. Yeah, it must have, like, yeah, right. Let's well, just keep an eye on it. And if it starts coming back in the ship or coming towards you, let us know. But we'll head yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. McMichaels, just keep an eye on this. He's, he's got, yeah, he's like, I got eyes on no problem. Yeah, he's, he's uh, got eyes. Michael's like, actually getting pretty professional at this point. Like, he, he seems like he needed, like, the, the work. Right. Um, okay. Uh, idle, ha idle hands for the Nick yeah, Michaels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so the, uh, you guys are kind of like, uh, uh, the rest of the crew, you guys start going through the, you guys go through these cargo bay, like, uh, there's like a big hallway through the center of the ship, and you can go to the cargo bays with a hard vacuum, um, or you can start, you can beeline to mechanics and engineering. What do you guys want to do? Engineering. Yeah. Mar was like saying engineering. Yeah, yeah we yeah. gotta take that. We gotta take the doctor to go look at the engineering. All right. Um, you guys start moving down that way, uh, and you can see uh, up ahead. It looks like it's gonna go into the in, into the machine shop, um, which is right before engineering. Uh, the cargo bays, as you kind of pass through, are all um, they're all locked down except for one. That looks like it's had its doors like ripped off the hinges. Uh, you're guessing that's the place that these things came in through. Uh, I'll go check it out. Yeah. Um, you go inside and you can see there's a, there's like a bunch of crates in here of MCRN marks, stuff like that. Specifically, you can see the crates that these things came out of. Um, it looks like they're set up in each crate holds three and there's two crates. Uh, in one of the crates, uh, both are open. But one of the crates, there's one of them inside of it, but it looks like it's essentially like been destroyed or killed, like damaged. Mm -hmm. Like it looks like it took like a PDC round or something like that in the, the firefight. Um, but you're counting five empty slots. We're still missing one, yeah. Or the one outside. Is that all that we figured would be left? Well, we, we well the one outside one. would be a total of four, so there's one four. on account yeah. for. Yeah. We, two turrets, yeah, we killed one, one in the box blown up. One outside. So, well, probably, probably if I was to program drones to go to key locations in the ship, uh, I would say that engineering is a key location in the ship. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I mean, At least we know. Very, you know, I'd be very smart about this. I mean, these things just turn on in the box and come stop flying around and shooting stuff. Here. Um, think about programming the stuff, Marv. Uh, you put two and two together, and also we'll let a, uh, with uh, why it's tactical training in the military. You're realizing that you saw these things kind of turret up. You're like, the smart move would be to turret up, aim at the entrance, realizing that your opponents would not want to fire back because they might hit the reactor core. Any of you guys have skills to like... <laughs> <laughs> to what? To hack into it? Shut it down. Oh, doctor. You know, I uh, am did, really I mean, good. You made them. You made you, you helped make. Sure. Well, is specifically the, the, the propulsion component. I uh, uh, I'm not uh, necessarily. Uh, that's not my specialty. I could do physics and mechanical engineering. Yeah. Um, uh, give me a. Uh... Give me an intelligence uh, engineering test uh, or technology test, uh, actually technology test for you, Marv. Yeah, sure. Well, can you disable it? Okay. <laughs> Doctor, please. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
21. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Here's what you know. You're not going to break the encryption on it. You're not going to be able to hack into it. These things are not meant to be hackable. Uh, but you know, you think you could use them based on the sensors they have. Um, you think if you could get some sort of chafe, like uh, reflective material or feed it bad information somehow, like uh, basically like wrinkle, like like uh, ground up metal or throw a bunch of crap in the room, you might be able to confuse it enough time to like get it, to get like a better angle on it where you won't hit the reactor. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I think the best uh, the best course of, of action here, uh, I recall this was an issue that uh, we we previously had to uh, kind of tr- solve for, is if we can get uh, like a very reflective surface or something that'll confuse the sensors, uh, like a large dust cloud of some sort, something that is not going to be able to identify uh, something specific to fire at within. I think we could probably um, buy ourselves enough time to get into the room. What do we need in engineering that's important? We got all this stuff here that's, you know, is it good enough? It's MCRN stuff. You're going to have to unload it. It's the problem. You're going to have to move it all to, the, to your ship. And we wanted to salvage the ship, too. Yeah. Ideally, bring the ship back, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could feasibly fire up the ship and have two ships sure. when we return. I mean, there's a lot of uh, shiny stuff on the ship we could probably pull off, or a lot of junk we could rip off from. Well, there's the Sarah. broken drone behind us here. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, let's use the parts from this drone. Kind of tear it up yeah. and throw it down. Yeah. I mean, you guys start gathering some like metal scraps here and there. Some parts where like there's bits of damage. Uh, you start grabbing like coffee cups and everything, uh, whatever is metal, uh, mm-hmm. plates and stuff like that that's reflective. Uh, you go and like go into like the uh, the head, like the the bathrooms, break a mirror. You know, or you're just trying to grab or whatever like, you can. Yeah. Oh yeah, this bag says uh, MCRN. I'm gonna use this one. So, <laughs> oh, so you uh, okay. and you guys get a bunch of stuff down there. Um, you can basically open the door and just like have. You need some way to get all that crap to go in there all at once, though. How are you gonna do that? A trash can. <laughs> you get, like a bag. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like a bag. Yeah. Um, all right. So you guys get a bag ready. Uh, you have Marv ready to push the button to open the door. Uh, push this bag in. Uh, and so that's it. We'll use the same initiative. Um, yeah. Go ahead and you push it all in. Uh, as you do, uh, a shot rings out through the bag that you guys all push out, <laughs> and you can see that it's starting to shoot at whatever the hell's in whatever it's doing. It just seems like there's a chance that it might not target you if you try to enter the room. Uh, let's go through the initiative. Wyatt, you're up first. I'll go into the room. As right. I'm going down, I'll shoot. All right, you go the. Uh, give me a free fall check to try to get in there as fast as you can. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Do you want to take cover or do you want to take a shot? Well, I can do both, can I? Because I can shoot. Oh, that's out. right. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, so you nice. take cover behind one of the water tanks in the room, <laughs> uh, and you can take a shot at. It. 19. 19 hits. Give me damage. Six plus. Sorry. I don't I forgot about math for a second. <laughs> uh, 12. 12. Okay. Yeah, your shot. Your shot does hit it. Uh, you cause a little bit of internal damage, but it's still operational, no problem. Uh, but you do have cover behind a water tank, which is not a bad place to get shot. Uh, and everything too. Uh, let's go uh, to the drone. The drone fires. Uh, let's see if the drone can see you. Wyatt. The drone actually sees through the chafe, uh, seeing where your shot came from, and fires at you. Uh, you have a uh, you do have cover, so you'll get an additional or, or you get initial two armor on this, or three armor, excuse me. Uh, it does fire and hit, no problem, and it generates stunt point. <sighs> oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, Wyatt. Oh, oh, sweet baby. <laughs> Can't lose Sparky and Wyatt. Wyatt. <laughs> That's 27 damage. Oh my god. It rolled like it rolled really fucking high. It did a spot stunt. So yeah, the shot. Need to be at negative three now. Yeah. Uh well you can you can you can burn you can take the injury. So roll a we'll D6 take, take the injury. injury. Yeah, so roll a D6 and what did you get for an injury? One. Okay. Uh, now you can take the wound. Roll the D6 and see if you take the, you take the wound also. 
Six. All right. Yeah, you get shot straight through. Uh, your suit is punctured and is leaking air. You're going to have to spend your next no. turn like either trying to hold your breath or trying to suffocate <laughs> or, start, or patch it up. Uh, yeah, but, right. And there is a puncture on the water tank right next to you, but that's not a big deal. Uh, let's go through to Myrtle. Uh, Myrtle, you hear them panicking, trying to do their plan. See if you can get quiet from Fortune. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, Fucked up. <laughs> shit, let's get, you know, I know you always get shot, he's all, he's but shit. Like, oh. anyway, we're going to talk about this on your review. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got yeah. double sixes. Okay. Hey, so man. that's 13, 14, right, cool, 16, that's 18. And oh. then that is six All right. on uh, the you, you drama die. You get three fortune back. Uh, we'll spend three of that immediately for uh, Wyatt to hold up. Uh, let's go to Zenny. Uh, they're trying to take the room. You can hear like Wyatt saying, get the... Cool, 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 cool. Um, I love that. I have... So is that the, the stun points that um, Myrtle generated? Mm -hmm. Do you want to use some? anybody use those? Yeah. Do you want to take... Do you want to get back some fortune? Uh, no. Oh, I have other things. I have gun stuff. Um, oh, do gun stuff. Gun stuff's fun. <laughs> uh, I want to do, I think, a call shot? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because okay. uh, oh. assuming that this is the same thing that the doc was talking about earlier, of like, hit it in these weak points. I know where they are because the doc yeah. was talking about them, so... Okay. I want to try to do. That. Yeah, I'll just try to hit the sensors. Is that what you want to hit, or yeah. you want to hit the weapon? What, 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 what part of it do you want to hit? The weapons. sensors. Or the weapons. I would like weapons. to hit okay. the weapons right. as much as I can. <laughs> Pretty All right, go and uh, you come in the room. Uh, you're not taking cover, but you're taking shots at it. Give me, uh, give me a shot at it. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, fifteen. That hits. Mm -hmm. Give me damage. Uh, that is eight, and then the called shot makes it penetrating. Um, the, uh, the shot does hit the weapon. Oh, wait, I lied. It's not eight. Hang on. Hold up, I can math. I can do it. Uh, that's a okay. uh, 12. Okay. Yeah, your shot does, your shot does ring out, and it cleaves off. You, you do manage to, uh, bend the barrel of the, uh, the gun enough that, like, it can't, it can't fire the gun anymore. Cool. <laughs> uh, Wax it. <laughs> and you're in the room. Marv, uh, you hear you hear Zenny uh, talk about shooting this thing. What do you want to do, Marv? Uh, Guns down. That's what that's what they would say. Yeah. Is there only one gun on these things? Yeah, but it has other weapons. Sure. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, cool. <laughs> it has a giant. I... It has it has giant claws and a and a uh, an arm with a stun baton on it, basically. Oh, okay. Really? Well, see, those are easier to get away from, though. <laughs> I think I would just kind of pop around the corner uh, through the doorway and then peel back, do my one shot. All right, go for it. Give me a roll of roll top roll here. Deal again? Sure. Uh, you know, that is not a great roll to hit. Um, it's a 13, but yeah, I could get five drama points. Yeah, if you, yeah. If you want do to spend, it. If you want to spend the, the points for it, man, do it. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's a thirteen. If I spend one fortune, I'll hit it, right? No. Uh, what's your What's the die roll you want to? What's What's your lowest die on there? The lowest die is I've got a pair of twos. Uh, if you push one of those to a three, uh, you have to spend three points. Unless you want to okay. have a what's, you have, a, you have a what's your What's your big die on the five? Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you spend six points, you can push it to a six and get stun points. That's, I right. think, the move okay. here. All right, so you push that, um, how many, and how many stun points is that? Uh, that, that would be six, then, because I'm turning oh. that five into a six, yes? Oh, uh, that's a, yeah, it actually cost, uh, actually cost 12 fortune points to do the, to move the stun, the stun die, but oh. it's worth it if you want to make me a badass. It is worth yeah. it. Yeah. So, All right. So, yeah, okay, I can do math in my head. That's how many right. points I So, yeah, my... you go ahead, and you, you fire your shot off at it, and, um, he, uh, yeah, you can you can do the big. Do you want to do the big damage on it? Could I actually, instead of big damage, could I just do like a disabling shot, but actually like leave it still running, but just okay. completely disable? We'll, we'll, we'll just do a call shot on the sensors. A salvageable thing. Okay. <laughs> could we salvage it? Actually, yeah. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll the damage on that. 
Damn. All right. Um, yeah, give me, the, give me the damage on that. Oh, too bad wax is after though. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, you know <laughs> it's not a that. great, not a great damage roll. It's a six. Um, yeah. See what happens on uh, that. Okay, your your shot. Uh, if you want to spend the stunt points to do the extra damage, you might be able to pull this off. You get one more d6 of damage. So if you want to do that, I'm fine with that. Okay. All right. So get roll more, uh, one more d6. Uh, oh, it's nine. Yeah, your I armor plate, your shot goes and plinks, and you hit right off the armor plating around where the are. Did not, did not connect. Uh, Waxor, it's your turn. Okay, I'll move in. Is this thing like on the wall, or is um, it yeah, like... it's on. It's actually on the floor, uh, okay. right in front of the reactor. Can I like rip, so rip miss. it off? Rip it. Yeah, off you want to go down there and try to fight it? Yeah, go for it. Try to wrestle it. Okay. You... <laughs> I mean, oh, go for it. This is like a terrible idea, but oh, I like I, I'm a wrestler, you know. I'm just okay. gonna like. Rip, right. try to disable it. Um, go ahead and, yeah, go on down there and give me a grapple check. Okay, so is that brawling? Uh, yeah, it's fighting. Uh, brawling's just punching it. If you want to try to punch it out, you're welcome to try. Uh, uh, but brawl, I mean, this would be uh, fighting, grappling. Fighting, okay, I don't have that, but I mean... You have a good strength, though. You're strong. Yeah, yeah, plus four. Okay, let's do it. Okay, uh, I've got plus four. Okay, so that is a seven, eight, twelve. Okay, I my lowest die is the one drama. So I'm on. A, I want to make it into a 14. So I got a 12. So if I make it into a three, I have to spend six, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. I'll spend six fortune just to hunt, rip this grapple. All this right. Thing. So you go up and you grapple it. And you, you grab it, and I'll, I'll I'll give you some good grappling stunts here. Yeah. You actually manage to like grab it, and uh, you kind of like start flexing on it a little bit. Um, it is pretty strong, but you're much stronger because you're you know. Waxar, you've been working out, <laughs> yeah, and you yeah. actually managed to pull its belly up into a moral position where you think you will have a better shot at it and have a better chance of not hitting the fucking reactor core. Yeah, yeah, like pull it up, right. yeah. All right, shoot it here, Wyatt, Wyatt. You got the shot. It's your turn, bud. Can I shoot or do I need to patch up so I don't die? Uh, oh. That is up to you. Do you want to start suffocating or do you want to shoot the thing? <laughs> Come on, hold my breath. Okay, I'll hold my uh, breath. This will. Uh, <laughs> what's your constitution? <laughs> Uh, what a two. choice. What is it? Two. Two. All right, this is your first round of, so your costume is not going to be one, but yeah, go for it. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen strikes it. Does not hit wax or, or the core. Ooh. Oh, or when it went through me and it hit the yeah. core, that'd be... Fifteen yeah. damage. Fifteen damage. Okay. Uh, one... Okay. Uh, yeah, it takes the hit. It holds up. It, it holds itself together. Um, it is not in good shape at all. It, like it's like barely. It's like still functioning, but it's like kind of more like flailing than anything else. It uh, goes to its turn. A uh, wax or this uh, arm extends from it and tries to <laughs> shock you with a baton. Yeah. Not <laughs> no. the first. Not the first time. No. Uh, it hits you <laughs> with a fourteen. Uh, you take uh, ten penetrating damage. So this does not include your armor. It's so just your toughness. So, all oh right, just toughness. Okay, yeah. so what did you say again? Sorry. Uh, this would be ten damage. Okay, so seven. So you, yeah, okay. Yeah. So you you can feel it like shocking you through your suit. Your suit's kind of absorbing it to some degree, but it's like it's it, you can feel it like ah, like you're getting you're getting uh, stunned Shoot out. Shoot it! Um, <laughs> Shoot right. it, doctor! Uh, I'm gonna skip Myrtle here because I want to get this uh, done. Zenny, you're up. Jeez. Uh, well, I will do what this the what uh, called oh, God. Okay. Yeah, he's suffocating. Um, or shoot it. <laughs> yeah, I. Jeez. Yep, I'll try. Not the reactor. No, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna go make sure why it doesn't fucking die. Okay. You go because I see Wyatt, that, and, you, and you, I don't trust myself to not hit the uh, reactor. <laughs> you, you, grew up, you grew up on series, no problem. Uh, Passion up suits was something you learned very early as a kid. Yeah. Action up, no problem. Uh, you can feel the suit like beginning to pressure. Uh, your air is definitely getting low, Wyatt. You don't have a whole lot more time out here, but you got maybe like another thirty minutes out. In, uh, in the how much? How much do I have? You got another three hours. Okay. Uh, you, you, you guys have enough air easily to get back, like no problem. But okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, let's go to uh, Marv. Yeah. Oh, Marv. Um, let's go. Um, Doc's gonna do it. Doc's gonna do it. He's gonna I'm guess. gonna take a moment here. I'm gonna aim, and I'm gonna take my shot. Yeah. Yeah. 
Shot, 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 shot. Don't throw it away, man. Don't throw it, shot away. <laughs> no. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to. Okay. Uh, we set it up for you, for our guests. You got You really, you have. You have. You've set it up for me. It's, it's yours to throw uh, away, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I got a plus one because uh, I'm aiming, so I can do the math in my head. I swear. A 12. I'll burn two fortune. To uh, get myself up to a fourteen. Oh. Uh, yeah, you hit it. Give me damage on that. So two d six plus big, your whatever your bonuses. Money. Uh, like and that is gonna be uh, ten points for damage. Your shot hits the belly of it. Things right off the plate. The plate. Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right. So close. It's Black okay. sword. Uh, this thing's like trying to shock you out. Uh, do you want to try to break it? Like you can try yeah. to use your, oh, yeah. I'll let you oh, do a yeah. brawl on it. Try like like I'll just use I'm your just, brawl and try like strike it. I'm just gonna yeah. I'm gonna try to break this thing. All right. Plus six. Come on. Okay. So I got three twos, but let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Plus six is twelve, but I'm going to up the two. So, so it's four, four yeah. two. So I spend four fortune. Four, yeah. fortune. Okay, thirteen. But that gives me extra stunt points for whatever, because oh. I got three triples. So, uh, unarmed, so 1d6 plus three. Yeah, and you can, you can do, uh, the vision blown extra, get extra d6 on it. Okay, yeah. Okay, give it a little, let's see if you can get the big hit on it. Let's see if Waxer can, like, draw this thing out. All right, uh, eight plus three, eleven. Eleven. All right. Uh, you go up and you straight up, like, like, you put, like, you see where the sensor is on it? And you take like your knuckle, like, and you start putting your 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 knuckle through the sensor like lens until it cracks, and the thing kind of like starts like squirming, trying to break out, and it, it kind of goes limp as you do. Uh, is it all? Yeah. And I just start smashing it, even yeah. though we know we're trying to salvage. <laughs> sorry, Doc. Yeah. I'm like, sorry, Doc. <laughs> it's just like pounding it. It's all right. I'd rather it be uh, fully off than have a chance of shooting somebody later. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I want to feed Wyatt some of my air, by the way, just in case. Yeah, you bleed some air into his system, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Why, um, you gonna, why, why are you going to get shot? Yeah, yeah. hey, somebody <laughs> else used to say that, I heard. <laughs> uh, well, he good job to get shot. Back on the ship, Myrtle, McMichael's they plots out like a flight plan for uh, Blinky. Okay. To, to try to distract the drone on the surface, where he thinks that a single PDC shot could blast it. Like, okay. it, would, it would get distracted. And you guys pull us off to a problem. The PDC rounds rips right to this thing as, uh, as, uh, it gets, this thing that hits Blinky, though. Oh, no. Oh, wow. It rolled a five on 3d6. It, it missed Blinky. Whew. Blinky, oh, the, 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 the true survivor. Uh, Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Blinky. But you One guys, happy ending. You guys kind of, um, yeah, you guys, it looks like the ship's secure now. Uh, you have one survivor. The cargo's yours. Um, Marv, you start digging through this ship. It looks like the way that the drones work is they basically triggered every single safety uh, uh, trip on the ship. It's going to take you like a day or two to get the ship back on and clear all these safety uh, triggers through the ship. But it looks like you could probably get it back online. If that's all right with y'all, I feel like that's a worthwhile endeavor to bring back a whole ship. Not have to uh, necessarily spend some time moving all the cargo around and then yeah, fly back and forth. Yeah, I'd we can just curious. then we can just tow it on back. Yeah, let's do that then. All right. Um, as you guys are uh, kind of settling this thing up, getting the engine back on, and sort of that, are you guys gonna hang out with Marv while he gets the stuff back online? Yeah, Sorry, kind of make sure. Back. So... Well, I mean, I mean, like, I mean, keep the ship in proximity. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. Myrtle, you get you get a, you get hailed like a tight beam at your ship. Okay. Um, a ship about uh, maybe about hundred thousand kilometers, uh, not too far out, uh, over, and says, uh, "This is Captain Bart Ride of the um, Expected Might. Uh, you uh, believe we are here to." Uh, I'd like you to power down your ship and your weapons while we come and get our legitimate salvage. Um, that's a negatory. <laughs> um, we are already, uh, we can't do that. Uh, this is on, this is, uh, we represent, uh, 
a faction of the OPA that is aware of this mission and your mission. You are here to peacefully take over the cargo of supplies provided by the Kleptis. Please comply. Uh, so, uh, was, did, did, um, when I, when we got the assignment, did we know that somebody was going to hook oh, up no. with this? You were told to go back to series of this shit. Yeah. Uh, negatory. Uh, we uh, must get this back to series. That's our that's our mission, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. Ah, uh, I see. Um, we are we are a uh, member of the, the Naros faction, are are interested in uh, gaining these materials for the cause, so they are not wasted on members of series and using the actual effort to resist the innards. Uh, please comply. And you start picking up letters from the thing saying there's like torpedo lock-ons on uh, coming from the ship towards yours. Um, okay. And they start kind of coming up and aware. We will pick this up next week. Uh, oh. when, <laughs> when you'll determine how Captain Cooper manages the threat of the Naros faction's piracy. Oh. <sighs> All right, folks. Uh, hey, looks. Sorry, this was kind of a long session. Thank you, Josh, for hanging out with us. Yeah, it, it was a lot. Thanks for having me. Um, let much. everybody uh, real quick. Last chance to do the giveaway. There it is. Uh, you can hit the type in uh, salvage uh, an appropriate word into the chat, and you will be entered to win tonight. That's cool little patch set, which is over. Uh, Josh, why don't you tell everybody where they can find you, who you are, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one more time. I'm the community and content manager for Demiplane. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of fun stuff happening over there. Uh, and then in my free time, I am also a variety streamer on Twitch. Uh, you can follow me at twitch.tv slash Joshua Simons. And you can, of course, catch all of my tabletop game content on my Twitter. Uh, my handle there is Joshua M. Simons. Um, that's me. I have to do a whole bunch of fun things. Was this one of those fun things? This was one of the fun things. Was it, how, what, what, any thoughts on it, man? Like, just kind of like, it, it, I mean, you've, you've watched The Expanse, you've read the books. Was this... Yeah, so, you know, we were talking uh, when we were building my character, the, the books for The Expanse is one of my favorite book series of all time. So this is this is uh, really cool to actually hop into the system and play and, and kind of get into the sandbox. And not get shot. And not get shot. Oh my God. Feels real thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pull the giveaway we got a few more entries i appreciate that thank you here we go yeah. and we got uh dino palooza one of our long time yeah, uh, long -term fans. we appreciate it uh, uh, we will go awesome. ahead and contact you and get your contact information to get these patches out to you right away uh thank you and hopefully you enjoy them and get cosplay up around the galaxy and the likes um, but thank you very much, everybody that kind of came in and watched. Uh, Josh, an absolute pleasure. You're welcome back anytime, man. We had a, hope, you. You had a, hope you liked the experience, not like you did. And uh, that's my that's my goal with this game, guys, to bring the Expanse universe to life for my friends and have fun and watch not get shot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, all right, cool. We're gonna go ahead and uh, bounce out tonight. And uh, thank you, thank you everybody for watching tonight. Thanks a lot. Bye. Uh, all right, so.